Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 32 franchise series. One franchise with all 32 teams in the NFL. Boom, bam, look at the screen. You can see I won the Super Bowl with the Dolphins in the last video. Uh, it was unreal, the Dolphins. Guys, this video is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. First things first, I got to say, Steelers were chosen because a ton of you guys commented the Steelers. So it's all about comments. Whatever team that you guys want to see next most, if you have a favorite team you're dying to see it, comment it down below. I look at the comments. I watch them. I'm excited. Like I said, this series in this playlist, the end of the year, you're going to have 32 franchises and hopefully I can win 10 plus Super Bowls. Kill like button. The other thing I got to say, okay, 10,000 likes on this video. Bam, look on the screen. We're going to be using the Pittsburgh Steelers. Heavily requested. Always one of my, if not my favorite team to do franchise with. I love their stadium. I love their uniforms. I love their division. Their division's a ton of fun. Miles Garrett, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, and so many. Like this Steelers team is night and day different from when I first did my Steelers franchise. So one season with this team, I cannot wait. Now, look on the screen right now. I got a rookie mentorship. If you guys don't know, this is by far the best thing you can get. So before we get into depth chart anything, I'm just going to click this button because I'm dying to know who this is and if it's going to be a really big part of it. Darnell Washington is someone I can't wait to work on. I think it's a high ceiling. Okay, so I'm going to go long. I don't know what Darnell Washington is um, in terms of development at the beginning. If Darnell Washington is a startup, which we're going to find out here in a minute as we go through the depth chart. Um, but, oh my gosh. I'm using the, oh, I love the Steelers, bro. Bruh, I'm, ugh. Cannot say how excited I am. Boom, Kenny Pickett. Let's start off with Kenny Pickett. Star Dev, um, one of the interesting, like, first quarterback selected in his year, um, pick number 20, out of one, like, interesting thing I love about Kenny Pickett is that he went to Pittsburgh and he was drafted by Pittsburgh. I think it's something that I'm just, like, consistently, like, wowed up with, just because I think that's, like, super poetic. 81 speed, 86 acceleration, 87 throwback. I'm not going to say as a Madden quarterback, he is absolutely, but in the span of a season, if I can light it up, if I can make a lot of good reads, if I can do my thing, because he's a star dev, I could potentially get him superstar, potentially get him to X Factor. He has crazy high potential. He is 25 years old, which I think I didn't really think about. Um, I didn't realize he was as old as he was, but definitely a quarterback um, that we can build around, a quarterback that I know I can win with, a quarterback that I know I can move around with, and a quarterback that I'm a fan of. He actually, surprisingly, and if you're watching this, um, he looks exactly like my golf coach, to a T. Pretty much a spitting image. Um, so it messes with me every single time I see him. Now, next up, Money Mitchell Trubisky is going to be the backup. You probably won't see a lot of Money Mitchell. I can't believe, I feel old that Mitchell is uh, is 29 years old. That just makes, I feel like his face scan is a little off too. Does that look, is that Money Mitchell? Yeah, it's him, but eh. Uh, and then Mason Rudolph as the third quarterback. We have our quarterback. Guys, this is what I'm, shout out Najee Harris. I, I got, I was able to, um, the first thing I told Najee Harris when I met him in person was that he is a YouTube legend for my channel. Najee Harris, to be reunited with Najee is so beautiful. If you guys don't know, Najee Harris was an absolute legend. Um, I had my best running back seasons of all time with him. He's a two-year guy, 25-year-old out of Alabama. I love that his change of direction is good. I love his height, weight, 6'1", 242 pounds as a running back, Najee Harris, with his team initially, especially at the beginning of the season, look for me to lean on him um, in the like receiving game, in the short yardage game, and just in, in every aspect of the game, look for me to lean on Najee Harris. Because Najee Harris is my favorite running back in the game. He's the best running back in channel history, and we are reunited for a last dance. Jalen Warren is next, 5'8". Um, there's not a ton to say about this guy. I don't really have a monologue, an opening monologue. Catching isn't great. I, I'm better off having Najee in. That's just all I gotta say. Anthony McFarland, I like um, because he is a, like he's small. He's kind of quick. Um, if I did need a second running back, I honestly don't though. Najee Harris is gonna get 99% of the snaps. I see no reason in gun situations to go anyone other than Najee Harris. Let's talk receivers. This is where this gets so fun. It should be criminal. Friend of the channel, Deontay Johnson. If you guys didn't watch my video with Deontay Johnson last year. Um, I thought it was a really good video. Um, we had fun. We played some Madden. I'm going to go match up Nightmare and Short and Elite for him. He's a really, really, really cool guy. He's kind of a... What I like about Deontay Johnson, he's kind of an underdog. Third round pick. Um, a lot of re receivers were selected in front of him. And he's had a very highly productive career. Um, good receiver in this game. 90 speed. I would say as like 
a game receiver, not necessarily like a game breaker because his speed and height are both pretty low, which is usually like the one-two punch that you want, but still very good. Let's talk about this guy, though. George Pickens. This is the guy who you got to make a superstar. 94 jumping, 90 catching traffic. The guy, he is just the potential. What's his stats so far? I want to look. I got. I want to look at his stats this season because I I've been following. He had a bad. He didn't have as good of a game. He has 16 catches for 263 yards, uh, but he's had some really sick catches. Steal for them because I believe he was a second round pick. I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with George Pickens. I think he has potential to be like in the list of like TD Barrett top receivers of all time. I think George Pickens could be there. Um, Allen Robinson, no offense. I used him in Rams franchise last year. He's just not going to play. There's just no upside. His, his XP bar is too high. He is a beast, but I can't do it. Our third receiver provides something that the others don't. Speed. 95 speed, 96 acceleration, Calvin Austin. This is exactly what we need. This is my jet sweep guy. This is my quick receiver. The guy who's going to get open on drags, get upfield for extra yardage. That is what Calvin Austin is going to be to me. But one thing that I'm going to be debuting in this franchise, Miles Boykin's kind of a low-key Madden stud. I remember telling TSAP about this guy once. I was like, dude, look at Miles Boykin. Six foot four, 91 speed. Definitely could play. The thing that makes this team so freaking cool is these guys. Okay? Six seven and six five. Pat Fryermuth. This is literally jump ball city. Pat Fryermuth is a stud. He's only two years. Um, he's someone that you could get devved up. And Darnell Washington is six foot seven with 84 speed. Literally a created player. A lot of the time I'm going to have two running back sets and I'm gonna be trying a bunch of different playbooks. Um, in this, a lot of playbooks that will be two tight ends and two receivers, just to kind of switch things up. Pickens, Deontay, and those two. It's jump ball city. Line, we got Broderick Jones, who I believe was the, oh my gosh, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel stupid. 13th pick in the draft? Oh, 14th pick in the draft um, in Broderick Jones. I don't know how he's doing. Steelers fans, let me know because I feel like the Titans, we got Skaronsky and Skaronsky's a stud. I have no, but I feel like I would have loved a lot of like in that game against the Browns, we got owned because of our left tackle. We, we got it like an amazing guard, but I'd love to see that. They got Isaiah, Samalo, um, Mason Cole. I would say this line needs some work. This is not a top tier line whatsoever. Um, it's young and it's not great. Like if I'm just being brutally honest, but let's go to the defense because the defense is cool. Larry, o Larry Ogan Joby um, is a left end. I'll probably go with DeMarvin Leal instead though, um, just because he has similar size. But Larry, eh, neither of those guys are gonna be on the field 24 seven. Cameron Hayward, probably the most underrated guy in the entire NFL. I, and I think you could argue that. I just don't think you'd have a very good argument. Um, I just don't know how you get more underrated than this guy. 98% of fans probably wouldn't know how good this guy was and how productive he is at the age of 34. I think there needs to be, we need to talk about how, like, look at this guy's career and just talk about, like, how he had 33 years old, had 10 sacks and, like, look at these stats. Back-to-back -back seasons. Is this not kind of trippy? Pretty much the exact same stats. X factor for a reason, stud, middle of the line, the type of guy you want, the type of guy you want to win with. Um, they have, I believe his name is Keanu Benton. Um, he is a rookie. I don't know what pick he was. Um, he was a second round pick. He's got really good stats. They have him as, like, for a second round pick to be a 74 overall, that's love. Um, I need to put a headband on. I just feel like sometimes my hair just sucks. Um, he's going to be my starting D tackle, 100%. Um, no real question. We have a, now, TJ, what are you doing? 97 speed rusher, edge threat, no outsider, strip specialist. You get five abilities. He's going to give you every single ability in the game. He's going to get to the quarterback. He's going to steal the ball. It's TJ Watt. TJ Watt. Dude is just different. 22 sacks, fifth. Like, look at this. He's not even that old. I always think of TJ Watt as being really old. He's only 28. How is my camera dead? Okay, so as I was talking about, TJ Watt, Marcus Golden is the backup, but one, Cole Holcomb, um, I like, sadly, it's just a position that's not used. Alex Highsmith, dude. This guy, like, I don't, this kind of a stud out of Charlotte. I would be interested to know how many guys with 14 sacks came out of Charlotte. 
14 sacks last year, 17 TFLs. He's my starting outside linebacker. Dude is an absolute beast. They drafted Nick Herbig, um, who's 21. But Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt are a crazy duo. DB-wise, Patrick Peterson. This is where I'm not... I don't want to say that this is a weakness because I just think it's not. I think people would think it was a weakness if they don't understand Madden. To me, you got one, two, three, four really good DBs. Look at the height. Corey Turner, James Pierre, and Joey Porter. 6'2", 6'2", 6'3". This is just, it's a big team. And I think that's what I like about it. Um, If I were to key in on any of these guys, it would be Joey Porter Jr. Because he's kind of cool and he's hidden dev. 70s like he's got potential to go up to a superstar if you make the right decisions and you put him in the right spot Minka Fitzpatrick dude I just get happy thinking about the like that franchise I don't can anyone who lived in that time or was around watching my channel that time remind everyone of how many picks I had with Minka Fitzpatrick it was sick now the problem is with this team other safeties is definitely a weakness. So that's why on the outside linebackers I'm playing, my, you might randomly see Watt in coverage by accident. It's not because I want to. It's because I can't play my safeties in the box. Guys, this is the squad. We're going to go through preseason. Um, Kenny Pickett, I'm hoping for more Super Bowls. Like I said, this is the 32-team league. Uh, focus players that I got. I got... Um, we're going up against Baker Mayfield this week. But uh, the focus players, I got Joey Porter Jr. I like all those. Except for, um, I might switch Broderick. Just because I don't know how much he'll go up. I kind of want one to be Kenny. And I, I really want those um, extra abilities with Najee. Once you get to 85, his abilities just go way up. So let's go through preseason. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is the mentor rookie thing. So Darnell Washington, because of the mentorship from Pat Fryermuth, is now... Star dev trade. Unreal. Love it. Uh, I think it actually in some way helps Fryer move too, but um, it, that's just really, really, really big because Darnell's six foot seven. Star dev. I might honestly even throw him in here. Like, it's got to be Kenny Pickett, but like Darnell, as I get more spots, Darnell Washington is six foot seven. I could play him at receiver, I could run him on routes. He's athletic. Like, there's a lot of things that we can do with Darnell Washington. Ooh, we got wide receiver, man. Is this Deontay? That's awesome. Okay, so with... Oh, that's just a message. Don't know what that means. I thought there was going to be more to that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Week one, no joke. This is... Uh, their schedule's really tough. Um, that's one thing about this squad that I know is going to make this such an interesting one is that this is just... They got a bit of a tough schedule that's going to... Um, it's going to test us. It's going to make me have to make sure that every game that I can win, like those close games that are going to teeter on the side of like those three point games, we got to be on the good side of those or else there's a chance. I don't, I don't even know if like playoffs are going to be tough. You're, you're arguably the third best team in your own division. Um, some people might say you're the fourth best Madden team. If you're, if you're looking at the Browns, um, just because of like Miles Garrett and that Browns defense being so top tier, a lot of people would look at that and be like, you know what? The Browns might be, one of, if not the best um, in that division. I personally disagree. I'm just saying some people, some people might make that statement. Kenny Pickett gets an upgrade right off the jump. It's almost time, guys, to do our official TD Barrett Steelers League depth chart. Um, look at the team. Darnell Washington, beautiful. Like I said, I want him to be a focus player because his, his vertical threat's not that high. Um, he might honestly start. I might, I truly, truly might start him. And I know that's like Pat Fryermuth is such a staple, and that's why it kills me. And I don't know what to do, and I'm annoyed. But I don't, I don't have an exact offense figured out yet to where like I know exactly what I'm doing. Depth chart: quarterback Kenny Pickett, running back Najee Harris, tight end, fullback. I don't like Darnell Washington there. Um, go McFarland. Wide receiver number one: George Pickens. Wide receiver number two: Deontay Johnson. Wide receiver number three: Calvin Austin. Boom. Pat Fryermuth. Ew, that's that one is up for debate. Broderick Jones, left end, we're going to be going with um, DeMarvin Leal, right end, Aaron Watts, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if I love that. I, don't know if, I think I might switch Larry over there. I feel like Larry needs to be on the team. Where is Cameron Hayward? Like, I'm just going to, can I auto reorder this? Because something happens after preseason where the depth chart gets so out of whack that it's just, it drives me crazy. Okay, cornerback, I'm going to put Porter there. 
I'm gonna put James Pierre there, and I'm going for I'm going for height, man. I I honestly I just want a bunch of big time players. Now, this is where you're gonna see Patrick Peterson and stuff. Patrick Peterson's gonna play up top. He's got great awareness and good coverage, so he'll be great. I actually would prefer Patrick Peterson on the other side because then he'll play the tight ends. This is where you want to put. Just not necessarily. I'm not saying this is like gold by any means or like winning advice. I'm just saying it can be potentially winning advice. Um, I like putting personally, if I have the option, I'll put one of my best coverage guys as strong safety because everyone plays trip. So that guy is going to be playing the tight end all the time. So that's kind of how I justify it. Um, High Smith there and then our. Slot cornerback is going to be, we'll go with James Pierre. Guys, the official depth chart, I cannot wait. If you guys are as pumped as I am, kill a like button. Hey, let's go make it happen, Jackson. Kenny Pickett, let's go. Kenny Pickett, got him. Calvin Austin, go, 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 Calvin! First pass of the season, though? Now Purdy. He's going to float this one deep right side. <sighs> He's got a man complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Hmm, that's the rook, dude. That's the rookie. Um, first test for Joey Porter Jr. is a failed one. Dang. Yep, go. Go. Good job, Najee. Good runs. Channel legend, guys. Pe people forget. People forget that guy's a channel legend. And it's easy to. But that is a channel freaking legend. See, this this formation right here utilizes two tight ends. And I love this formation. Good job, Najee. Head down. Run the freaking rock. I'm just going to run this. Bro. Oh, that's good. George Pickens, baby, let's go! First play for him. First play of many. Of many. I don't want you to think that's going to be the only play. That's the first play of a lot that are about to come this season for that guy. Okay, Najee, get involved, dude. Take over. I, just, I want jukebox on Najee. Good job. Good run. Here's Pickett on second down. Flush to his right. Oh my, break the tackle Harris. If your QB makes an absolutely stupid throw, break the tackle for him. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love him. He dropped it. What? Should I shut up? I'll see myself out. What? I'm not even just saying that. I genuinely think that it like you see how quickly we never got to see that play and it went to the next play i think the game i promise you he caught that what the heck minka what help so he gets ball at half so like he definitely has the um the temporary advantage in this game would definitely be going to him but oh defense come on steelers Got to stop that run. This time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Bro, dude, why click me onto that guy? Oh, that's the worst read I've ever seen. It's, no, it was the worst read. It was the worst read I've ever seen. It was. It was the worst read I've ever seen. And I've been doing this a, a long time. That's the worst read I've ever seen. Box. Good job, TJ. Got him. Yo, Trice is nice. Six three does it. Why pick it though, Brett? Oh, no pun intended. No pun intended. What am I? What am I speaking? What language is no pun intended? Not tented. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness is right. Okay. 
He's on his line. He's on his line. You should have him. You should have George Pickens. Because it's sweet over here, bro. He's waiting for the juice move. As soon as I saw him on his line, I knew exactly the wide receiver I was going to. The one who I thought had a touchdown pass the last drive. That's, that's who I was going to. The one that I thought maybe just had a touchdown. First and ten, here's Pickett. Dancing to his left. Pickett. 15 though on the end of that? I'm actually looking for I'm gonna look for Najee here. Second and two. Got him, George. Pickens, the kid. Make him into the greatest receiver of all time, Brett. You got one season to do it. You need him to win a Super Bowl, I promise you. Okay, 17-7. Nope. Nope. I, I, dude, I cross, man. And do you see what I mean? Patrick Peterson? Has anyone... That... Awareness is what makes plays like that. That play is made 100% by awareness. Patrick Peterson is not necessarily the fastest anymore, but he's still the freaking goat. Oh, no! Mom! Do I get a like for that? Early in the video, clip that, please. Vintage Najee Harris clip. Oh, good play. Play action, now Purdy. This will be caught, it's in 10. At the 41. Purdy looking to throw. Flushed out right. Can you chill, Brock Purdy? Like, can you just chill out a bit? Can you chill out a bit? McCaffrey. Uh. To the opposite side, and all of a sudden, oh gosh, that's a ridiculous play right there. Pickens, I love you, bro. And he drops it again. Oh my great throw by Pickett. That's two drops, dude. Okay, we got a game, fellas. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. My bad for not getting my onside team out there. I tried to call a timeout immediately. I just did not expect the onside right there. I really didn't. Good defense. Come here. Good defense. Okay, we got him to fourth down. Oh my gosh. Get off the field, Brett. Get off the field, dude. Something's got to give. Don't let that freaking... Oh, that just drives me crazy. Brock Purdy's disgusting for that. Okay, money drive, fellas. Just let's make sure we don't let another onside happen. That's just a horrible start to the year, bro. 24-7 lead. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we just got to focus on money drive here. Get points. I don't think his offense is all that great. He just... That play, he clearly dotted us. Um, and that I can admit that he 100% dotted us there, but... I do think if I were to get seven, that there's a good chance that I can end the game with seven points. I, I don't think that's out of question. I think seven points I could win. Good job, Deontay. Seven points, I think I could win this thing. Oh, I need something here, guys. Uh, he got to us. GG's, man. 24-7 lead. Blown. I don't think there's really any point. I can call a timeout, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't get the ball back. 
GG's in the chat, fellas. Oh my gosh. You gotta come out non-side defense. I was doing everything in my power to call a timeout. I was literally doing everything in my power to call a timeout. Okay, GG's. Own one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in life you uh you are the joke. No, sometimes in life you laugh at a joke. Sometimes in life you are the joke. There I am the joke. You feel free to laugh. I just blew a 24-7 lead. Onside kicks are stupid. Um, oh my gosh. The high kick is banned. I'm pretty sure. I thought I saw on Henry's YouTube channel. It is. I don't know. It's not banned in here, so I'm not complaining. I he did everything, but I'm frustrated because I hate losing on stuff like onside kicks. There's nothing worse. Um, because I think probably without the onside kick, we win that game because we were up, still up a good amount. But it is what it is, guys. Um, we're 0 and 1. Nobody cares. You're 0 and 1, Brett. Shut up. Maybe it was a good thing, confidence wise, to just kill it. But I actually felt like I played pretty good. I had a crazy game with George Pickens, I had a good game with Najee. I thought the defense looked awesome. I thought our pressure looked great. And then it, randomly, he just started hitting these ridiculous throws. And I was like, dude, like, freaking A. Um, we got the Browns next week. 1-0. We're 0-1. He's 0-1. We got to win. Okay, so this is a division rival. Um, first play of the game, this guy. We all, like, let each other do our audibles. So that way... That we can just do our audible, so we take a delay a game so that way we don't have to start our audible. This dude accepts the penalty. That's just sums up our start to the day, man. Holy schmoly. Yeah, that's what you get for accepting it. You get Kenny freaking Pickett. Dude, Kenny was good. That's the frustrating thing about last game. Kenny Pickett was really good. I think that's what's got me just beyond annoyed with that whole result. Is I didn't feel like I played that bad. Go, Pat Fryermuth. Get up field, Fryermuth. First down, one for one, 17 yards. Hey, we can win with this squad. I'm not going to get discouraged. We're going to get the run game looking better. Our defense looks great. That was an anomaly. That was just something that you forget, you never talk about again. They hand this off to Harris. That's my Najee. That's Najee. Good run, Najee Harris. Come on. Fight. Third and one, though. Third and one, I just hate. Because third and one is actually probably the most messed up spot in this game. You always want to block. The third and ones often lead to... Fryermuth is... Like, I love Darnell. I just got to find a way to get both of them. Because Fryermuth is a really good tight end. And I know Steelers fans will be mad at me for using Darnell. But, like, both of these guys are studs. There we go, Doc. Oh my gosh, pick it. No comment, no comment, no comment. Oh, that's Miles Garrett. It was the right read option read in any situation where there is not a player named Miles Garrett on the field. In any situation not involving a Miles Garrett, that would have been the correct decision. Unfortunately for us, today there's a Miles Garrett on the field. What a throw! What a throw! Kenny Pickett! Did not feel confident when I let that go. Literally zero. I had very little confidence. Freaking beam. 7 0. That's hard flat. We don't let, like. I'm not asking for the world. I just want when someone throws into a hard flat, I want it picked. You know, that's, I'm a simple guy. I don't need the world. I just want, if someone throws at a hard flat, I want that ball intercepted. That's blocked. Good defense. Fourth and 19, bud. Just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to strip so far. Yep. Najee. Five rushes, 45 yards. Beautiful. Control the clock. Be smart. Make him pay for accepting that delay. That's all I care about. I just want him to be mad because he accepted. I'm just mad. I'm just salty because he accepted the delay. Yep. Look at this runner. Look at Najee. Good run. Cool. So frustrating, man. Those those second those third and inches will kill a game and kill momentum. Okay, right now I'm in my own head. We're just. We're playing badly. We're not clutching up. Oh my. TJ! What? Shut up. He just tackled the quarterback on a run play. 
not even using. That's what I love about this game, dude. That's my favorite thing about this game, is that that's a thing. This is a glitch throw. I know you want to throw the glitch throw. I'm on it. I was literally waiting for it. It's a glitch RPO. Get it off my field. That's a good read. Perfect throw, to be honest. That position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Yep. Dude, we're not punching. This isn't a boxing match. Stop punching the ball. Pick the ball. Pick the ball. He missed it. That is instant karma. You block, you you accept someone's delay, you miss the kick. Welcome to Madden. That's just the way she goes, bro. That's just the way she goes. That's nothing more than lack of concentration to me because an NFL kicker should make this kick in his sleep. The Pittsburgh offense at the line. Deontay, can you can you torch Deontay? I think you can, Deontay Johnson. I don't think he res I don't think he respects you, Deontay. What do you think, Deontay Johnson? Did, are they showing you the respect you deserve? Because I just don't believe they are. Good throw. Off the play fake. Here's Pickett. Yeah. Good click on, bud. Good click on, bud. Accept that. Accept that. Delay a game. Dots. Two touchdown passes for Kenny Pickett. Watson looks to throw again. Bro, that's just so day one. Like... That's so day one stuff. Guard the running back on third and 12. And I, no lead is safe because I literally, I am living, breathing proof that no lead on earth is safe anymore. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them though. Still two more downs to Come on, Minka. Dude, this sucks. Was I not following that with, oh my gosh, Pickers doesn't light up? Okay, good job, Najee. Yeah, nine for 50. Every part of me wants to put in freaking Pickens at this spot because I feel like Pickens could break a tackle if need be on, on this play. He pinches his line. He plays so aggressive with those DBs that we'd be literally one block away from a touchdown. There's, everybody's up there, so it's, it's one block away. And you see how Deontay ran right by him? That's the block I needed. Precisely what Deontay Johnson did literally just sold us so badly because that was the block that was absolutely crucial for that play to work. Oh, gross. Okay. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. That's <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I never do that, so I finally did it. I never do that, so I finally do it. Good job, Najee. Three even would help a lot. Three even would help a lot. I honestly kind of want to look for wide side pickings here. That's so gross. That's so gross. End it, pickings. This is why I want to do the franchise so bad. Honestly, would be lying if I said that guy wasn't 90. 8% of the reason that I think I got a thousand plus comments for the Steelers. Oh my gosh, Pickens. He's made like three ESPN top 10 catches. Let's see if he's not even going to take timeouts. I think, I think he's conceding it. He's two scores down. I don't think he's going to take his timeouts. Do I play classy or do I go for the... Good catch, Darnell. GG's, bro. GG's. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, through two weeks... I can say that this is a success. I truly believe it's a success. Five touchdowns, no picks. Najee's good, pickings. This is everything I wanted this franchise to be. Like, everything I wanted this franchise to be. Three TFLs for Watt. Interception for Peterson and Trice. Everything I want to be has happened. Just, just we sold a game. Cannot let it bother us. We're one and one. It is what it is. I think we got some upgrades, which is awesome. Um... Pat Fryermuth and George Pickens are both going to get upgrades. Pat, I, I like having him in there. Even though but the, Darnell is a star dev, but like Pat's actually one, if I were to get abilities, he, it could make a huge difference. Darnell Washington is what he is. Like it's, I'm not going to take him from 70 to 99 in one season. George Pickens gets another deep threat, plus one, plus two release he gets, and Mason Cole gets an upgrade. Guys, one and one, Raiders next week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week 
Number three going on. Hey, every time I see the Raiders, it's just such a fan favorite. I, I love the Raiders franchise. Every time I see the Raiders, I'm just like, you know, this is like, this could be two legendary franchises going at it. TD Barrett League franchises, that being said, going at it. Okay, week three, Broderick Jones gets an upgrade. Um, that's it. Essentially, the Raiders, you can play man to man press against them. I don't think I have to overthink this too much. I just got to win. Let's go. Brett, you couldn't suck more at the game, dude. That's how we're going to get our first pick. A missed throw by 30 yards. Oh, my gosh. Bro, if that's a completion. Got him. Minka. Minka Fitzpatrick. That's my first. Okay. Nothing else stupid. Honestly, great year so far. Kenny Pickett's been awesome. That's just that's just a mistake on my part. Go. You're going, Najee. Good run. There it is. Maybe it's just like I've, I've ran on first down every single time. So I think the issue, that that's a big part of the issue is just the fact that I'm super predictable on that. Go, Najee. Yep. Shoot. It's the first. Yep, good throw, Kenny. Good throw, Kenny Pickett. Three for four, 41 yards. Hmm. I'm okay with three because I think his offense is not good. But. Bagged, 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 bagged. Fourth down. Possession. It can be a delayed fast start and get them going. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Fourth down. Now Garoppolo throwing on. Got him again. TJ's having a game. TJ's having a game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Good defense. That's fourth down. He's got to punt that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have... Dude, it's going to be 0-0 zero, zero at half. This is... Oh, my gosh. Good, good for the stats, Kenny, I guess. Good for the stats. Okay. Another stop needs seven. Like, he gets ball. Like... I'm not in a good position right now at all. Nope. Like I said, we, we're, we're playing good. A any big play is going to be what's going to cost us this entire thing. We just cannot allow a big play. That's great defense. Look at that. Look at him. Fourth down, baby. Look at him. TJ won again. <sighs> Unreal, dude. Win, just win me the game. Get seven. He's not going to score on this defense. He's not going to score on this defense. You gotta be kidding me. TJ Watt again. Nope. Cheated him. That was a dot to his running back. That was a dot. And he's punting. Holy moly. Dude, we're 0 0 with 350. This is like. 
This is the most low. This is the lowest scoring game I think I've ever played of Madden in my entire life. I don't think in any game, any franchise ever, I've had a game quite like this. This is bizarre. Make the throw this time. Make the throw that time. There it is. Yeah, go Najee. Go Najee. I'm honestly, I'm taking this to the two minute, bro. If I gotta win three nothing, if I gotta win three nothing, I'll win. I can't go to one and two. It, when I, when my defense plays like this, I cannot go to one and two. We've had too many opportunities, too many chances. We've played too good in a lot of ways to let this have us go to one and two. I don't think his D tackle can is that good, and he's not. Good run. Bro, I really almost just threw another pick. I didn't want to run that. I don't know why. I should have. I should have. I know I should have. Okay. Got him. Fourth down. Yep. Thank gosh. Get me out of here. Take a knee. Nobody talks to anybody. Just take a knee. Take a knee. We did. We don't know. We're not celebrating that one. We, that one we don't get a celebration. Nobody's gonna. Nobody's gonna give us a hug, and tell us we'd had a good game. Nobody. No hugs. No nothing. Just get out of there. Hmm. Oh my gosh. So ridiculous. Three nothing victory, embarrassing, but like just telling of how the Raiders got a good defense, we got a good defense. T.J. Watt went crazy. Hey, two and one feels a lot better than one and two. Whoa, we got them ups and some downs here, but Kenny Pickett gets an upgrade. Beautiful, let's go. Uh, plus one scrambler. He, we didn't deserve it. Me or Kenny Pickett, mostly me. I was the reason we lost that game. T.J. Watt was unreal. T.J. Came free like 40 times. Best player in the league. Love him. 98 overall, plus one acceleration. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next week we got the Texans, who is MEQ, who's <coughs> absolutely a beast. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, QB, this is the most important thing, uh, is the QB1 check-in. Now, this is MEQ. And MEQ last year was really, really, really tough defensively. He played, he pretty much blitzed 40 people every single play, which made him difficult. Not a lot of people play like that this year, and not... And it's not bad to play that way, but it's not necessarily like the most effective way to play Madden this year. So I do think it'll work, but he is going to be in dollar, I'm guessing. Um, dollar DB fire too, if I had to like predict accurately what I think his defense is likely going to be. Um, James Pierre is going to get an upgrade. He's going to go up plus one to a 72 overall. Shout out to James Pierre. Um, plus one awareness and plus two zone coverage. Okay. Guys, without further ado, this is this is a big one because the Ravens guy is no joke. The Ravens guy beat me in the playoffs um, once already in this league, and he's 3-0. He's got a really tough team. The Bengals are 2-1. This division is tough. We need it. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. Got him. Calvin Austin, laser. Good throw, Brett. Good throw, good throw, good throw. Okay, this team that we're, we're playing, the Texans, their offense isn't crazy. So, like, defensively... I feel like we're gonna get stops. So if we can, we don't have to reinvent or score a thousand points today. Oh, I had Najee and Pickens. I just, he's, he's blitzing every single play, no matter what. Go, good job. Najee just quick snap, man. He's sending his entire team. We gotta be able to do that. If, if someone's gonna blitz that many people, you have to be willing to throw the ball really, really, really early. Let's get the offense buzzing again. Last game was Dude, this is why this is why we're here, man. This is I'm reminded why we're here. It's George Pickens. It's his show. Got him. 
It's George Pickens' show, man. It's 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 his house. We just live in it. Let's go. Okay, defense. Be good. Smart decisions. Good reads. Similar. If I play how I played last game, we can win this game. Lurka Minka. Be great. Oh my gosh, Pickens. Pickens gets the dumbest animations I've ever seen. Hmm. Ah, good play. Good play, good play. Cross man, dude. Go, Kenny. Go, Kenny. Pick it. I see you, man. That's called a step up. Where I'm from, that's called a step up. Deontay. It's a quick throw. That's just, that's just like a read throw. He, he's trying to double team the inside guy because that's that's how he plays. That's how he played all last year. He's always double teaming him, manning everybody up. Calvin Austin. Pegs, timeout. Fourth and 16. Okay, we're getting the ball back. Oh, 10 out of 10 defense, guys. 10 out of 10 defense. Yeah, I got to go up to P Pickens is the guy. Like, red zone situations. Okay, red zone situations, I got to know. George Pickens, that's literally all I need to know. Nice catch. He's just making so many adjustments. Even if I get three here, I'll be okay. Take as much time as you can and then throw it away. That either had to, I, I didn't really want to complete that just time-wise unless it was a touchdown, so... Take three. Take three. Okay. Yeah, there. It just I didn't have any timeouts, so it was like, if it's not going to the end zone, I don't want to risk like a spike, not having enough time, something like that. That that was my biggest fear. Egg. Fourth down. I would say this one. He's got to go for it. He's gonna go for this one. Like, how? I manned up Joey Porter on him. <coughs> That's so ridiculous. Yep, there it is. Go, Levi Wallace. Go home, Levi Wallace. I'm not overly confident in my ability to score, Levi Wallace, so I need you to. He's just different. He's just different. Like, <coughs> when I'm in doubt, when I'm struggling, when my red zone's struggling, when we're fumbling... That's who I'm going to throw the ball to. Needs a breakout game, deserves it. 17-7. Let's go, Pickens. Bag. Highsmith. Two sacks for Highsmith. Good defense. Good defense. Okay. This one should be all over but the crying, guys. Great performance. Oh, my gosh. Like, defensively, we are... In two games, we've allowed seven points. Like, that, that's saying something. GG's, man. We're on to Baltimore. Okay, so as far as this breakout, um, I don't think I got. I definitely didn't. Yeah, I didn't have 300 yards. Pickens, though, had two of the craziest. And I, the whole team gets 25 hours speed. Okay, this Ravens game is everything. This is going to be our division rival. We got the Rams after it. This Ravens game coming up, we need a dub. Guys, if this has got it's Highsmith. Is it not? Come on, man. This is huge. This is huge. Alex Highsmith, less than 200 yards or get two interceptions for... Is he bronze? No. Under 200 yards total is... Is Highsmith a bronze player? If he is, there's something seriously wrong with the game. If, if, if he's bronze, I'm going to quit. 
No, he's star. Under 200 yards, I can get Highsmith to superstar, and he's an ABC dude. That would be gross. He deserves it. Through, like, four weeks, he's been... This entire defense, this is truly the steel curtain. Like, we are playing out of our mind defensively. That guy is a good offensive player. We completely put him in a snuggie. Um, this is the one that's going to matter, though. This guy plays very... He runs RPOs. He's not a great passer, and he definitely with the Ravens. Like, I promise you, all this guy wants to do is run run-pass option. Like, I promise you, I promise you, promise you. That's his goal is to come out here run RPOs, annoy me like he has done in the past, and win. I can't let it happen. I got to be better than it. Um, two upgrades away now with Najee Harris from getting evasive. Once evasive comes, like evasive is pretty much the juke of the gym ability and the spin move. So with evasive, I can do both. And Najee's, like, I don't know if you guys watched uh, the Bijan Robinson fantasy draft when I had him, but like, Having that ability is crazy, 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 crazy. Um, Calvin Austin's going to get an upgrade. We're going to go with deep threat for Calvin Austin. Hasn't done a ton, but he's not really my top priority. Um, he's a bronze, and he'd never really benefit that much from even a dev upgrade. So it's not – I'm not going to force him catches. Darnell Washington I still want to use. I'm I'm annoyed because I, oh my gosh, Fryermuth, I'm just like, I'm a loyal guy to like how the actual team plays, so it's difficult for me to go away from Pat, but I can't lie that I've considered giving Darnell Washington a start. Week five, Ravens week, this is going to be a tough one, let's go. Dude, why am I obsessed with these uniforms? I don't know why, I love Check these uniforms. Okay, Darnell just caught that. Darnell Washington just caught that. That guy doesn't even look, he looks like LeBron James out there right now. That's the thing. That's why it's like, how on earth do I not give that guy every single rep? Like. Oh my gosh, that's just a missed throw. Pickett throw right over his head. Now Jackson on second down. Okay, I can't. That first drive, I just messed up. That's just a dumb throw. Forced it over the middle, overthrow. Cannot do that. Got to at least be putting in an effort on the ground before I throw something like that. Dang it, man. Good run. Good run, Harris. Let's just see if he can stop this first. Because if he can't stop this, we're going to have a chance. I bet I can th just quick throw this to Darnell Washington. No. Come on. There it is. Deontay. Oh, good job, Deontay Johnson. That I can't blame anyone other than myself. That that's just bad, bad footwork. That's that's bad footwork. Oh my gosh, that's like day one footwork. I'm honestly considering just taking Najee Harris here. Oh, the craziest thing is that he almost just caught that football. That is the that's the part of the story that. Yeah, I think I got that. Chris Boswell, we should be good. Good kick, okay. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Look at look at the angle that falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. Pay twenty seven. Can we pay him right now? Oh, look do you guys see the angle? Can can we see a replay of the angle? What on earth? There's no way, I was about to say, there's no way he's running that ball. Good defense, that's fourth down. Like I said, he, he, he doesn't pass. He loves the RPO game, he does not love passing. Second three, okay, we got 113 to go tie the game. Into half, that would be a huge momentum based on just how this game has started and went. That would be crazy if I could do that. Time out. Time out. Like, even three here. Even three would just be huge. Like, I don't necessarily need seven. Three would do a lot for us. 
Pick it to throw on first down. Got him. Pickens going in motion left. Wise play by Pickett. I got no timeouts is the thing. I got no timeouts. Like the announcer just said, I got no timeouts. From the gun, here's Pickett. Flushed out right. Yeah. If any throw, you just it has to go to the end zone. So it's like Oh, I don't want to risk anything here. Dot. That's a dot! Oh my gosh! No, did you see the playmaker though? I'm still cold. Did you see the playmaker? That was disgusting. That step up by Kenny Pickett. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on. Let's go. 10 up. Let's go, Porter. They'll send a receiver in motion left. It's a beam. That's a laser. Oh my gosh, Calvin Austin. Okay. RPO that, bud. RPO that. He's got a full field. This will make him pass, hopefully. Like, I, I have to still be super concerned with the run. But that is going to help make him pass. 100%. It has to. He has to somewhat feel pressure to pass. Uh, angles, Brett. Like, what kind of angles was that? If I'm being honest with myself, that's probably what I need to expect. So stupid. The beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open. One final shot for Pickett. He's gonna let it fly. And it's incomplete. I threw it away, man. I don't know why I threw that pass. In my head, that was one on one coverage, and I was like, but like, why throw that? I went out for the animation. Oh my gosh, you can't mess anything up worse than that in that situation. Yeah, I should have just ran the ball, taken it to OT. Okay, let's see. Breakout, did we get our breakout? Oh gosh. That's good. That makes me happy. Like I, you gotta find happiness in even the absolute biggest sell of all. I've sold two games. Um, there's no other way to put this. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I don't know what else to say. I have uh, quite literally sold two games in a very, very, very frustrating, annoying way. Um, but this is huge. The defense is getting better. I, I feel like the defense is good. Um, but, oh gosh, okay, we got a bye week and then we got the Rams. Let's hope that we can just get things together and beat the Rams. Okay, let's go week seven. Rams week, Matthew Stafford. New superstar unlocked, which makes me happy. That's just such a, I'm still mad, bro. That divisional game, you can't give those up, dude. You just can't. You cannot give those up. I'll say it a hundred times, like, if you're up seven at the end of those two games, we've done enough to win. 
we technically, there's a chance you could argue that we could be undefeated right now if it wasn't for a couple mental errors. Hopefully, this doesn't cost us crazy and we can still make the playoffs, but there's a lot of season left. There's a lot of, there's a lot of better decisions that need to be made on my side or else this could get ugly and this could be an absolute meme of a season, which I do not want it to be. Um, Darnell Washington's going to get an upgrade plus three short row running. Um, Nate Spencer and Edwardson. Uh, the Chargers aren't bad. They got good receivers. They got a really good defense. Um, or the Rams aren't bad, mind you. Um, but now the Bengals are 5-1. and one. Ravens are 6-0. and oh. Hey, it is not about to get easier. It's only going to get more difficult. Let's go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong. The Rams user didn't, is not playing. Probably because he's the Rams. Uh, there... Dude, what? Alex Highsmith, by week eight, we have the potential to get Alex Highsmith to be an X Factor. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to figure out where... The main thing I'm trying to figure out right now is where am I losing games? That That's kind of the... That's the million dollar question that you can ask yourself. Why am I losing? What has caused those two games? And I think it is defense. I think it's situational defense. Um, I think it's offense. I don't know if I necessarily feel like Super Bowl comfortable. If, that, if that's a word that we're going to use, like... That's the comfortability when you're like, know that if no one's going to stop you in the Super Bowl, no matter who you play. Najee's about to get an upgrade. He's going to get another, um, some more abilities. But I feel like offensively, maybe I'm a little <laughs> lackadaisical, maybe I would say would be the word. Just kind of like meh. I don't necessarily have that like spark. And I think that worries me a bit. Deontay Johnson, I really want him to get some good abilities. And we're only one upgrade away. I don't have routes. On Deontay, so I can't put posts. I can't do stuff like that, which I think will help us. Defensively, I don't think our DBs have been bad, but we just don't have a lot of picks. We've we've swatted the ball. We've been really good at, like, our front seven is winning us a lot of games. But in all honesty, our, we're not getting the interceptions that we need. Um, week eight, we got the Jags, the one and six Jags. This should be a dub. We got the Jags and the Titans back to back. Let's go. In motion right here comes Johnson. Go, Deontay. Deontay, I just, I want him to get more than 85 overall playmaker. I also, if I hold him to under 150 yards, um, I get the Highsmith breakout, which would be absolutely crucial. So, watch that safety on the left. That's on him, I think. That should, I don't think, there wouldn't be holding that. That's illegal contact. Okay, get a win, Brett. Get back in the win column. He's pressed. Just outside throw this. Pickett. I think Pickett can make the throw. Oh my gosh. Calvin Austin. Oh, you... <laughs> Dude's trying to play the juke. I love when people play the juke. I just, nothing brings me more joy than someone playing the juke. Because when you play the juke, and then, like, initially he thought I was going to juke, so he stopped. And then as soon as he stopped, stopped playing the juke, I juked because he stopped playing the juke. That's why I juked. That's a beam. That's a beam. Yeah, he's got him. Wide open. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Now he's forced out. That's a snuggie. That is a snuggie. I'm actually gonna do something kind of shocking here. I'm gonna send my entire team and just play over the middle. They're going on fourth down. Bag. Alex. Hi, Smith. It's a, it's a weird thing to do in that situation, but that's why that works. You When you blitz people when they're just like expecting coverage and it all to be all okay and fine and fun and funny, and you start blitzing people, oh my gosh, Deontay. Pickens. 
Yep, he's gonna hold on to it every single time. Good job, George. From the opening whistle, an absolute masterpiece. There we go. That time, that time we're not gonna go over. Deontay Johnson is back. Is that two for him? I think is that two touchdowns for Deontay? No, first one was was uh Calvin Austin. Tay. Hey, sometimes in these games where you're gonna win, like you gotta just try and run it up. Stat padding. Get breakouts. That's what we do. What you gotta do. If we're gonna win with this team, we got to. Because Pickens needs to be a superstar. That's I he needs to be a superstar. I would have thrown six different reads. I would have. There's six people I would have thrown to before that, but it works. Again, it's Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. Come here. Mika! Fitzpatrick! Gotta know that you're open, otherwise, just don't do it. Kenny Pickett, that's how you know he's feeling it. That's how you know Kenny Pickett's kind of feeling it a little bit when he starts doing that. First and ten, here's Pickett. Oh my god. Don't look at Pickens, you'll just get mad. You'll just get mad. Dude, you he's either amazing or sucks. Like he's either really good or just really average. There's no there's no in between for him for at all. That's a book. That's an Ian book. Oh, that's a picture book. That's a newspaper book. It's fourth down. And they'll try and throw forward with Lawrence. He'll air this one out for Kirk. I was about to say, if that ain't picked. If that's not picked, I just don't want to know what an interception is. Keanu. Good job. Okay. Get a dub, man. Get a dub. Move to five and two. I honestly want to throw to Najee Harris. I don't think there's anyone that fast on him. And that safety's moving. Time out. Oh my gosh, Kenny. Kenny pick it. No, he can't because I pass let it outside. No, he cannot pick it. Pat Fryer moves. Have fun at home, guys. We're having fun at home. Good job, Pierre. That's gotta be GG's. This, this guy's in a freaking Snuggie. Okay, so after that absolute dumpster fire. Bro. Alex Highsmith. X Factor. The mo shocking. And I think, I think fans of the Steelers won't consider that shocking. But Highsmith being an X Factor to me is super freaking cool. And super like... This is going to matter. And this is going to matter a lot. For our overall chances of success, the fact that I can now do three inside stuffs, I could put TJ inside stuff, um, like, which I think I will, and I can put Cameron Hayward inside stuff for when I play against the Ravens, that's going to make him have to rethink his life a little bit and rethink those decisions he makes and the stuff that he does because... Three inside stuffs against those RPOs should, those are inside zones, we'll run pass option inside zones, should do something. Oh, okay, five and two, we got the Titans next week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week number nine, man. This is, it's always bittersweet, the Tennessee Titans, because they're my favorite team. I love them, but I, I love to win, and I have to beat them. So it's, it's, that's kind of just the way I look at it, you know? I love the team, but at the end of the day, this is a business trip. This is a business trip with the Steelers. And I got to go in here with my new and improved line that I know 
can stop Henry. Dude, Highsmith, Hayward, and Watt has to be the best one, two, three punch in the entire league. Um, I want to do a stat check up here for everybody, just kind of the midseason. If I ever forget to do these, start reminding me in the comments more, and I'll do my best to try and remember. 14 touchdowns to five interceptions for Kenny Pickett. Najee, 293 yards. George Pickens, 352 and 326, 310. Everyone's getting the ball on this team. Every single person is getting the ball. Defensively, Highsmith, 5.5. TJ Watt, 3.5. And, and Cameron Hayward, 3.5. Two for Pierre, Levi Wallace. Guys, it's Titans week. Put up or shut up. My camera's focusing on that bulb for whatever reason, so I'm going to try and switch it. Let's go. They'll start on the ground with Harris. Set him up. Am I unconservative? Did I? Why? Will, no. I thought I was about to juke that guy out of the gym. What on earth? Who's that DB over? Is that Sean Murphy bunting on him? Yeah. Pat Fryermuth. Go, Pat. Good laser. Cover three, four verticals is so underrated, and I don't know why I do it, don't do it more because... There he manned that guy up, but now I know next time. So, like, for example, it's cover three. He's manning that guy up on him now. What does that tell me? Who's, what's going to be open if he's manning that guy up on there? That means the cover three hard flat on the left, on the right, is going to be gone. But the vert hook's going to play it. Aziz El Shire. Shout out to Aziz El Shire having a good year for us. Nice. 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 Oh my gosh. What am I missing? Was that not... I thought that was right literally in his hands. Oh, like, was that a bad read? I thought it was a good one. Bag, fourth down. Okay, we don't need sevens when our defense is playing like this. Our defense literally is terrifying, people. So, when you got a defense with Highsmith, oh my gosh. This secondary, you don't need a lot. This is RPO motion. That's what he's looking for. Yeah. Dude, the thing about these playbooks, like slot offset, there's like seven different plays in there, and I know all of them. So as soon as I see that motion left, I know for a fact I'm getting a crossover in the middle. Clock work. Dude, clock work. Yep. <sighs> too much, too much. Yeah, just, I'm not going to overcomplicate it there. I got Najee Harris run the freaking ball. Pierre. Got him. Look at Minka Fitzpatrick. Gotta dance. If you're going to lurk people like that, you got to dance after. Two picks. Nice catch, Calvin. That's a that's a good throw. Weird animation, but a really good throw. Miles Boykin. Miles Boykin. Laser. 21 now. Hey. Things good like defensively, three games, seven points. That's something. That's something. Continue to run the option like this. Ah, uh, good try. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. That's gotta be the worst. That's it? Yeah, that's the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> Working out of the gun, it's picket. No, I didn't just I just hit a clip. Picket. He'll look to throw it. Here's one deep for Pickens. Dude. Clip it! Clip it! Oh my gosh! Bro, that guy's nuts. That, oh my gosh, he's the best. That's the best receiver in the game, don't at me. Oh my gosh, he's the best in the game. He catches everything, okay? 24-0. I think I get ball. Low-key, I think I get ball. To throw is Tannehill. Midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Hey, good job. 
shot is gonna go. The offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Dude, this is the worst offense I've ever seen. I don't even this makes me not even want to be a Titans fan anymore. This and I love the Titans, but like, dude, this is this guy is making me not even want to be a Titans fan. Throwing on third down, here's Pickett. Oh my gosh, he just caught that. There's no chance. I hope people are staying for the end of this game because Pickens is going crazy. Pickett, he's gonna throw it again. I <laughs> tried to jump over him. Oh, that was funny. I tried to jump over him. Okay. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Now pick it. That's swung out wide. Back to throw. Pick it. Got him. Beam. Good throw, Kenny. GG's, bro. GG's. There is no. I've, I've added um, this guy like 12 times. There's no Packers user as it stands. We have a George Pickens breakout. So if we get in the CPU game, we get in the CPU game. If we don't, um, if we don't get in the CPU game, that means that we're gonna have a chance against the Browns in the week after. Um, so hopefully we get in the CPU game. If not, guys, we have we finally get our George Pickens breakout, which is everything so deserved. I've been waiting for this, uh, but unfortunately the Packers guy has stepped away. So and he's been gone for like 20 minutes. So I don't think we have a game, but hopefully I can see next time. Okay, so this is incredibly unfortunate. Um, but I think, I believe the remainder of the opponents for the year are all going to be here. But unfortunately, these two, um, okay, our next game. Well, this sim, we have a chance to get the Joey Porter superstar. Oh my gosh. Bro, why are these, oh, the Browns, dude. Okay, well, okay, essentially next week, we have a chance to get Joey Porter Jr., and George Pickens a chance. George Pickens did not get it in that, but George Pickens, it's all gonna come down to the Bengals week. Under 150 and those stats, hopefully it happens in week 11 though. This is, uh, sorry, this is interesting. I was, I'm disappointed these people aren't here. Okay, let's see if we got it with Joey Porter. Okay, so Porter has a breakout game and Pickens. Everything comes down to this Bengals week because no one freaking shows up. Ugh. Okay. Frustrated, not gonna freak out. Essentially, I need 150 yards with George Pickens. I will throw him the ball every single play if, it, if I have to. I need that breakout with George Pickens. Then, we also need to hold our opponent to under 150. If we can pull both those things off, George Pickens and Joey Porter will both be superstars. The guy I'm playing is literally frustrated with me that I'm taking too long, so I am going to just play and do the upgrades after the game. I wanna do, oh, you know what? No, I have to do Najee's. Cause I need a very slow. I, I won't be, I will not be running that much. I can promise you that because I can promise you it's not going to be a lot of running. It's going to be a lot of jukebox. Jukebox, spin cycle. Jukebox, I, I don't even, jukebox, armbar, and leapfrog are my favorite. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week 12. This is a big time divisional game. This guy's a good player. Um, he's six and four. Let's go. Oh, okay, third and nine. I can't just, the thing is I'm moderately just worried about. Yeah, you can't just worry about George Pickens. That, that is the, the trap of a breakout game, especially when it's a divisional game, that is so incredibly easy to fall into that I gotta get, I cannot let myself do that. Throwing too many interceptions. Kenny Cannot let myself fall into the breakout game trap. I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Burrow gonna fake to mix it and now look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that one drops it over, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Best, the good thing is we have the best defensive line I've ever had in my entire life. So our D-line is unbelievable. I, I quite honestly never have to worry about people just running on me. Hit him. That's not a fumble though. That's not a fumble. Tell me that this guy's on conservative. Randomly tell me that he's on conservative after last play he juked. Lie to me and tell me that he is on conservative because I know he's not. Like 
remember the last time out they threw the interception that led to the touchdown so now time to regroup oh don't know what to do because I I want to just I want to do everything I can to get him the ball that that's honestly how I'm feeling I just he needs to get the ball just get him one catch hopefully we can break a tackle but like I have to get him the ball I have no choice that has to be number one priority of this whole thing because playoff wise I can promise you that we will regret if we can't get him to to superstar we need a superstar like. He had to jump in front and he dropped. That's like five drops on somewhat catchable passes. Just catch it. Just catch it. I don't care how, just catch it. There's his first catch of the game. Well done. Just heat up, please, Pickens. There it is. Another one. That's two. Let's catch Pickens, dude. These aren't like crazy, wildly far throws by any means, but they're wildly effective. Pickens, again, man! 150, 150 for the breakout, great drive. That Those weren't even just like friendly, funny, haha -ha throws. Those were like punch him in the face type throws. I love those. Okay, he's got 83 yards. We got to hold him to under 150 to get the Porter Jr. breakout. He's cooking us right now. I think we got to just think about winning because this is a divisional game. So I got to prioritize winning. I got to put me first. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Throw left side, complete to Chase. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. This goes out okay, good play. Oh, okay, get seven here, Brett. Get seven. I got. I'm gonna have opportunities. It's a high-scoring game to get Pickens the ball. Pickens needs like. I gotta go up top. I think. I or the jet sweep. Honestly, the jet sweep could be the move. Go, go, jet sweep season. Jet sweep season. There it is. What that's. Jet sweeps help a lot. Stat-wise, jet sweep help. Oh, jet sweeps can help a ton. Sets up play action. Escaping the pressure right. And he will not throw okay, away. take the loss. Why well, didn't even mean to? No, I'm not gonna act like I meant to take the loss, but. Off play action. Pickett. George Pickens. Look at him. Time out. Pickett now on first down. Got him again. Dude, I don't know what he's at, but I, I probably think he's got every pass. I don't know what the dude is at, but I think I've literally thrown every single pass to him. This means more than anything this season. I, I gotta see him as a superstar. That's okay. I don't know if this guy's gonna use timeouts. If he doesn't, I'm not. Because I don't wanna give him, I don't wanna give him the ball just now I'll use the timeout. Yeah, got him. Good job, pick it. We didn't run into our line. We just threw a dot. Okay, fourteen up. Hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But I'm a defensive player. All I'm thinking is, can I make? And that's caught inside the thirty. A good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive? Oh my gosh, win the game now, Brad, because I don't think you need to, like, go for just pickings anymore. Good play. I'm not the type of guy who taunts, but I just taunted because I wanted to. But I, I am the type of guy who taunts. Okay, his safety comes down. I gotta put pressure on this dude. I don't, I think his offense is pretty good. Which is what's got me moderately worried. 
It's that guy, though. That guy doesn't care about feelings. That guy cares about absolutely nobody but himself. And I'm pretty sure with that, that's 150 yards. And we are going to be looking at our newest superstar on the squad, Mr. George Pickens. This has been an elite franchise, breakout-wise. Oh, push him. Got him, Deontay Johnson. Quick reads in the red zone. Okay, defensively, do I try to just like a... I think I... Man, I've been doing horrible. I think I got to go to a cover four and just try and get off the field because right now we cannot get off the field. Wow. You either, you either get the clips or you get clipped. That was a... Thought I picked it, and then he somehow migrates his way into open. That was on. I was on the rail. Good play. Come on, that's Joey Porter Jr. That's Joey Porter Jr. That's Joey Porter Jr. Go. That's Joey Porter Jr. That's Joey Porter Jr. What? What do I need? One. Now I start thinking I put him at slot and I blitz him every single play. Now I, I that's not enough. The crazy thing is that's not enough to break it. If I put him at the slot position and blitz him, we might be able to get it. That's Joey Porter Jr. Oh my gosh, we might leave this game with two new superstars. That would be bananas. Oh my gosh, that would be banana. Play action. It's Okay. And they didn't that's that's two plays that have been not working. Okay, don't don't necessarily just think about the breakout you right. You you get into that habit sometimes and it does not not good. Begged. Dude, I can't with this game right now. That was a pick. I promise you that was a pick. <laughs> Wait, that Porter Jr. got the deflection. Was that not Porter Jr. who got the deflection? Who is it? I'm happy that we got it, but who is it? I want to get back on defense, don't I? It all depends on how many yards. I don't have any. I don't, I don't know if I have enough yards with Pickens. Do I have enough yards with Pickens? Okay, I gotta see what I have here. I gotta see what I have because Pickens is good. Defensively, Porter Jr. You go, dude, he's got a deflection. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to leave this game miraculously with two breakout games. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have two new superstars. Porter Jr. Ed. This is the best breakout team on the planet. Porter Jr. gets a deflection and a pick six. And I got 196 with Pickens. We're gonna have two new superstars and a win. Let's go. We're leaving here, not only with a win, a divisional win, we're leaving here with a breakout of George Pickens, a breakout of Joey Porter, and setting us up beautifully for the second half of this season. And hopefully, to go make a really, 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 really good run in this league. I, the, the future is freaking bright. The future is bright. Pickens, we pull off. Porter, somehow we pull it off on kind of a miss throw. Um, and we end up winning the entire thing. Pickens, I didn't even, like, he just catches everything. He's the best. I don't know what ability he's going to get out the gate. Um, but he's gonna get some superstar abilities. Porter probably, I think he's like a 78 overall. So he'll probably only get like the short zone abilities, which will mean I'll probably put him as like, I'll probably switch him to slot corner. Um, but man, I wish this was a long term. I wish we were doing six seasons of this. Holy moly. That's where I'm sad as the 32 franchise here. So I'm like, dude, this is too fun. Uh, but GG's to my opponent. Huge, huge, huge win. I just want to show you guys before we get our superstars. Um, interception, Joey Porter Jr., pass deflection, 
Joey Porter Jr. receiving 196 yards. Ladies and gentlemen, two new superstars. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Cardinals, man, it's a new morning. Bro, this is the crazy thing. This is the crazy thing. We have two new superstars, George Pickens and Joey Porter Jr. from one game. Um, I don't think I get, ooh, oh, bro, I love those abilities. Those are like my two favorite abilities. At least last year they were. George Pickens is going to get two more. And then, guys, Joey Porter Jr. is officially, this team is starting, and he's going to go. To, guys, this is, things just start working out. I don't know, man. I don't have a lot of excuses if I don't have at least some level of success in this. And I'm not saying I need to have crazy success. I'm just saying I don't have a ton of excuses because the team itself is working itself out. The team is getting better. The team is going crazy. Um, I'm going to spend my staff points here this week. We have the Patriots next week, the 3-9 and nine Cardinals this week. But overall, I think the main thing that I need to understand right now is that we, we're a championship team if, if we, if we want to be, you know? Like, I think there's things that we're lacking, obviously. Um, Kenny Pickett, I'd love for him to get a superstar upgrade. I think he's potentially in the MVP candidate um, race as of right now. I want to look at that. But he's had a really good season. So it's like we're playing good football. I've thrown picks. I've made mistakes. But all in all, I think the football has been pretty nice. So hopefully we can kind of continue this. Um, Kenny Pickett's going to get an upgrade. He's a 75 overall. He hasn't really missed a lot of throws. Um, I would say in general he's been pretty on with like most of that's plus one throw power. I would say in general he's been pretty on. So that makes me happy. Darnell Washington, he just keeps getting better and way more intriguing to be the starter. Um, Fryermuth has made a lot of plays, but then I'm like... You see me here. I'm just, I'm struggling. And I think for two or three games, just because I feel like I need to, I'm going to make him the, um, I'm going to make him the official starter, I think. Just even for a couple games, just to, just to see. Fryermuth is an 88 overall. That's why I've been so hesitant. And that's why this has been such like a, uh, because I just don't really want to. But at the end of the day, the guy is six foot seven, eighty-five, four speed, and ridiculous. We have the Cardinals this week, guys. Two new superstars. Let's get a dub. Oh, let's go, Kenny K. He's screaming at you here. He's absolutely screaming at you. That guy is just he's just different. Like, some people are just in the game and they are just built completely differently. And he is a hundred percent one of those people. Yep. So is this guy. Like, they have two players who I think you could argue Madden-wise. Like, I'm not saying that they're the best players in the NFL, but you can argue Madden-wise. They have two of the best Madden players. Yeah, go, go, Najee! Juke, juke! No, his second juke. See how his second juke's slow? It's so, like, there's such little differences between players. Like... Josh Jacobs, for example, his second juke is super fast. So that Josh Jacobs scores right there. 100% Josh Jacobs scores that ball. That's that's the difference between them. Oh, that's good defense. Yep. So Dot, down to the one. I just don't think he was expecting a Miles Boykin. Boy, see, Boykin's burst, though. That's what I'm saying about Miles Boykin. Dude's got burst. Dude has burst. Okay. 7 0, and our defense is the best part of this team. Let's go. Oh, that's a good read. I love. Dude, Cardinals franchise maybe might, might be next. Honestly, especially because they got Hollywood. Cardinals franchise could be a good one, I think. Thanks. TJ, what are you doing, bro? Third and 18. This is just what we do. It's just what we do, man. Check in, check out. The play in the playoffs, what we need to be. Uh, we gotta be able to move the ball. I'm I'm obviously always a little worried about the defense in the playoffs, but I truly believe we can get stops. Now back to throw. He's going deep for Brown. Oh no. That's a good read. That's that's trice, bro. That's that's not a fair um, that's not an overly fair situation for me to put Trice as nice in. That's a good read too. 
Oh, you got him third and 18 and I pressed. Why did I press Hollywood? Yep, begged. Fourth down, make the decision, dude. Make the decision. Dude, that's the worst. You win. That's the scaredest read I've ever seen in my life. I've No one's ever been scareder than that guy right there. That's the scaredest read you'll ever see. Oh, brother. What kind of a read was that? I don't even want to call that a read. That wasn't even a read. There we go. That's a good read. Got him. Good play. Dude, I'm 7 for 7 right now for 108 yards. Controller died. Controller died. Nice. I honestly see one read working. It's George Pickens. Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, that is honestly ridiculous. I'm sorry. Don't at me. Don't talk to me. That's insane. That is insane. Wow. How on earth do you catch that? Because nobody else is. And he catches that too. Dude. Just a dot. Marco Wilson, he shaded underneath. When you back off and shade underneath, you get that awful animation where the guy just runs by him. It's a horrible animation, but it's a beautiful animation for me. Okay, this could be a potential for a Kenny Pickett breakout. Just imagine that. Just imagine that. Uh, is that not the longest? Did you see that? Am I losing it? I thought... I thought it was at one second when he caught that ball. I promise you something weird just happened. Okay. All good. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game. It's caught inside the 24. When will you learn, right? When will you learn, kid? And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Ah, good fight, Najee. This should work. This should work. Just literally one block that works. Good job, Deontay. I think Pickens has Marco again. Oh my gosh. This isn't even... This isn't even fair. Pickens is literally taking Marco Wilson to school right now. Okay, defense, just don't press. He won't score. As long as I don't press, then he will not move the ball. Oh, gosh. Did anyone else think that that was a play action? I I was looking at the quarterback. I thought that for sure that was a play action. Got him. GG's, bro. I do that not to taunt. A lot of people think I do that to taunt my opponent. No, that's not what I'm about. I do that, as crazy as it sounds, so that I can stand there and let the defense get close. The defense gets close means that they start running at me, and then I make my move after they start running at me because that is going to increase... Dude, he's different. He's not even like, he's, it's his world. We're all just living in it right now. That was actually, I think Pickens is just unguardable. I really do. GG's, man. GG's. Holy moly, dude. How big is his feet? Pickens got him again. GG's, dude. That's four touchdowns. Got him. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So we had another. Uh, we were playing the one. We've actually played some horror. We were playing the one and eleven Patriots. Um, we had two o two. I do want to do a big overall stat outlook before we or stat look before we get into kind of the closing weeks of this season because our last four games are all going to be really, um, really interesting. I uh, to say the least.
Um, essentially, as of today, Kenny Pickett is 18th in the NFL, 27 and 8. Um, George Pickens has a thousand yards. Now I don't know where Kenny stands in the race, and like this is I wanted to like I'm a little shocked because I actually feel like I'm having a really good year with him. Like 27 and eight, his yards per game is a little lower. Najee's had a lot of carries. The crazy thing is at the beginning of the year I wasn't getting Pickens the ball as much. Lately Pickens has been going crazy, and I think that's been like a huge part of our success. Is Pickens is just starting to be like yeah, I don't care. And I'm keeping the abilities that I have on him. I don't. I don't even care if he upgrades. Like I'm keeping those abilities. But we have a really like we have a gauntlet to end this season. Um, that we got we got to deal with. We got to play ball. We got to make good decisions. Um, the Bengals and the Ravens. We both get to play again in the next three or four weeks. Neither of those are going to be easy games. I can just promise you, those are not going to be easy games. The Ravens game was miserable. I do think my D line is more ready for what he has. Um, I, for what he has, I think my defense is much more prepared for that run. Because he loves he loves running the ball. So it's like, I think at this stage, we could beat them. I do. I'm not trying to say that that's going to happen. I'm just saying I think there is a chance at this stage that we could... I'm not feeling like I can't beat the Ravens, is essentially what I'm trying to say in a very long-winded makes no sense way is I, I feel like I can beat the Ravens and I feel like I can beat the Bengals so those two games we're gonna have to lock in we're gonna have to play smart that's all that all goes without without even saying it but if we can win those games we can win the division we can put those guys back a little bit um because I want the one seed and I don't know who the number one seed is right now in the AFC I think it could be us or the Ravens no it's the it's the Ravens so like he has the division. We have the same record, but he has the number one seed. So, like, that's such a difference. Like, if I can win these next three games and I can beat him week 18, or if he can lose a game, we could be looking at a much different closing to this season, which could help us a ton. We're one away from getting Alex Highsmith's speed rush. We might have two crazy speed rushers, and he gets plus one speed. He's an X factor now, which is bizarre. Najee's going to get an upgrade. He's going to go up to an 86 overall. Um, and I get an elusive with him. Awareness, juke move. Should maybe go receiving back. And this is the one that I've been waiting for. Deontay is going to get the playmaker, which I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, at this playmaker one, I'm pretty sure I can get a route apprentice. Yes. So now I can get my three favorite abilities on a receiver, which is awesome. Joy Porter Jr. is going to get an upgrade. He's going to go up to an 81. Um, man. Awareness, plus two awareness, plus tackle. And then Kenny Pickett, last but certainly not least, is going to get an upgrade as well to his scrambler. Guys, <sighs> closing out the season, it's time to just... We, we, I feel like we're peaking as the year goes on. I feel like we're just getting a little bit better every single week. We got Anthony Richardson and the Colts. Let's go. They've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. Nice catch. Deontay runs that route. Unbelievably, that outside route in spread, people play back on him. Deontay's making them pay every single time. That's Pickens, baby. This catch, George. Good run. It's an easy 16. Give it back to him. Oh my gosh. Good run, Harris. Just run. Just don't fumble. Don't fumble. We got a good season going. We got a really good season going. Just don't fumble. Ooh, thank you, Madden. Take three. That's the thing. Darnell is big, but like just boxed, completely boxed right there. Okay, three nothing defense. They don't have a ton of weapons on the Colts that I'm necessarily freaking out concerned with. So, crossing my fingers, I can do something here. That's what, that's the defense, man. That's what I'm saying. Like people just can't really run against us, like. 
you have to be able to throw the ball. And that's what I'm banking on. I'm banking on that working and being the case against the Ravens. Richardson on fourth down. Got him. Dude. How are you that bad at football? Oh my gosh. How are you that bad at football? That's the worst play I've ever seen in my life. And then I just let him throw the easiest read in Madden. Oh my gosh. How did Wallace not pick that? I have that's the worst play I've ever seen. Oh, I thought he was gonna juke in. If you saw me click my like click on my user and move it, it's because I thought he was juking in. Good defense, K. Okay. It's been a long drive. If we can hold him to three here, I think we take a lot of the game momentum. If he gets seven, I have a minute and 32 to quickly move the ball. I would say the advantage potentially goes to him. Oh, okay, come on. I just wouldn't run the ball, man. It's not. It's just not sweet over here. Like, yeah, I get in the red zone. You're scared, but like, look at those. <laughs> High Smith. You got three X factors on the defensive line. I would not run the ball. Okay, tie game. Go get seven. Let's go. You just gotta trust. That's literally just. Just like the NFL right there. I honestly, in that situation, there was no one else I was going to throw that ball to. I was just trusting that he was going to absolutely roast the guy he was that was covering him. That's exactly what he did. That was, he could have been on any route. That ball was going to Pickens every time. Good job, Deontay. Oh! See, the reason I didn't take a time out there is because I just... The reason I didn't take a time out there is because I wanted... I'm not opposed to this situation. Oh, that almost was at the one. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Connecting here with Pittman on the out route. I put Trice in and I shaded his man outside, like, so. That's why I was a bit of an awkward catch. Hey, defense, we guys gotta go stop him. Oh, man, we're not taking advantage of opportunities right now. This is, we're making our life very difficult. He's only got six points, so it's not like we've been exposed defensively. We're doing a good job against Richardson, but we need points on offense badly right now. Ah, uh, you gotta stop. He's starting to run the ball well, actually. Good play design. It's a really good play design. Three's fine here. Three, three, we can get a lead back. So that's all we got to be thinking about right now. Is three, we we're in this game. Seven, we're in trouble. They'll try the left side with Taylor. Good work there. Second down, here's Richardson. They'll find his man, that's Taylor again. That's what I was worried about. Just literally, he's not throwing anything other than to his running back. I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. Okay, you need seven, and then you need to get the ball back in this guy's hands so that he can protect. I might even onside kick. I just don't want him to be able to clock us the entire way is my biggest worry at the moment. Good job, Pickens. Good catch. Good catch, good catch. Hey, this is legacy. This is this is season legacy on the line right now. First and ten, here's Pickett. Oh, hit. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh my god. Pick it, dude. Oh. He's fired up too. Oh gosh, that's got to be a made throw.
Horrible execution all game. We didn't deserve to win. They're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. It's great defense. Back to back plays, that's great defense. Buying time to his left. Someone's just gotta get to him. That's ridiculous. That's it's like a clock killing drive. Like get rid of the football and make sure no one was gonna get it. Good read. Good read. Good read. Hey, we'll forget about this one. We'll forget about this one. Oh, we gave one up. 100% we gave one up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that one stung. But if I look at like, I didn't run the ball. I kind of stopped running. And I think if I didn't, I didn't go under center once. Um, I was forcing a lot, especially in the red zone. I have Najee Harris. I there's three reasons right there why I lost. So at the end of the day, I at least know for the future. Um, the mistakes that I made and hopefully the mistakes that I can correct and we can get better because of those mistakes. Um, we get another ability slot with him, which is freaking unbelievable. Um, I think I'm going to go. Deep in honestly deep in elites kind of what I was thinking because that would activate. I feel like but slot up. Let's go slot AP, even though outside apprentice is is dangerously good that's the problem outside apprentice i just don't throw a lot of c routes but i need to um oh i find myself very 50 50 on that darnell washington has not been getting open as much i got to go back to fryer um i'll try and find a way to get both these guys involved in certain situations but just route running is just so much i think fryer is just a much better route runner so getting closer to the playoffs it was a good experiment. Not to say that it was his fault by any means, because he was cooking people. Um, just a few times, I felt like his route running was a little bit meh. And then you got the awareness and the 96 catching from Fryer Moose. So it's hard to be like, how do you go away from this? Like, that guy's an absolute set. And he's six foot five. So we, we gave it a chance. Guys, Bengals week. Um, we're now, we've fallen a little bit in, in the race. We're struggling. Um, if it ended right now, we'd play the Texans in that first playoff game, which would be an interesting matchup. But we're the closest. See, we gotta if we win this one and we win the next one, you know what? We don't even guarantee it because we'd have a tiebreaker over the Ravens. I don't even know how this division is gonna play out. I need the Ravens to lose, and he plays the 49ers this week, who beat me and have a pretty good record. The 49ers are 13 one, so hopefully the 49ers can pull it out, pull it off for us. <sighs> Bengals week, let's go. And it was the visiting Steelers who came away victorious, so they'll look to claim the season series. With a win Got him. Torched him, absolutely torched his guy. And a perfect throw by us. Okay, that's Fryer move. Yeah, I think that's Fryer move. I think honestly out there, I don't know if it was. So I I need that to be Fryer move because I need to be able to go to other, it's not. That's so stupid about this particular formation. It's so broken. Good run, Najee. Good run, Najee Harris. Simplify, Brett. Go back to the run game and getting points. That's literally how we win with this team. Our defense will show up, run the ball, get seven. We can't, cannot be getting three points anymore. Yeah, go, Kenny. Go, Kenny. Good run, Kenny Pickett. Good job. Pocket presence all day. Oh, good user, man. Take the mittens off. Take the mittens off next time. I just threw right at him. I see that is that's a me problem. There's no. I shouldn't be taunting about that. I shouldn't be even smiling about that. That's a me issue, hundred percent. That's just a dumb read, through and through a dumb read. Good run. Good job, Najee. Good run, Harris. Get sevens though. Red zone has been a dead zone for me. Like red zone has been a actual like you could you could look at red zone as a hundred percent the problem. There it is. That's not okay. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by the tight end Earl Smith Jr. Burrow looking to pass. Oh, I, it's a pet peeve of mine, but it's like it's it's. It's a me problem, but I hate the running back stuff. I hate when people just throw to their running back immediately. It's like, to me, that's the most frustrating thing. 
to throw again on second down. Burrow. That's a beam. That's ridiculous. That's a free form. Outside pass led dot. Holy moly, that was a beam. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Flush to his right. He'll find his running back. Just, just tip your cap. Just tip your cap. Like the balance they had on that last drop. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely loved it. Feet. Feet. And he holds on. Nice catch. That's he's super outside shaded on picking. Here's one deep for Pickens. That's a beam. You gotta you gotta admit, I lost the last game. I'm not gonna lie, that was a beam. That was a inside pass led throw against outside shade laser. Man him up instead. Run the same defense, but just man him up. Now Burrow. Ah, that's too much time. You think, do you guys think he regrets jump hurdling? Do you think there is a slight regret on the jump? I think he's probably regretting that jump hurdle right about now. Okay. Now he's crazy inside shaded. You can't do crazy inside or outside shade on him. I promise you, you can't. Like, you just can't, you can't disrespect George Pickens. What a beam. That's, can Yo, can I get a video? I'd be saying, Coach, we got to throw the flag on that. Coach, we got to throw the flag on that. That's ridiculous. I thought for sure I had that. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Yep. You got him. Good fight. They'll try to run with Harris. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here, but with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their That fumble is huge because he... They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that one caught downfield by Burrow. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. Top five wildest things I've ever seen. Quite honestly, that's number one on the top five. That's the wildest throw. Dude wins. That's the wildest throw I've ever seen in my entire life. Reg's video clip attempt. Dude. Time out. George Pickens. Right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. GG's, dude. Oh, okay, guys, it's honestly going to come down to that Ravens game. That last week, unless that could potentially be for the one seed. We did our job. We bounced back. It's going to come down to the Ravens. Okay, this guy's going to continue, guys. GG's. GG's in the chat. Big time win. Pickens goes crazy. Okay, it's one more left. The Seahawks is not here anymore. Like I said, we struggle with these, but it's okay. It's Express Leagues. I'm trying to get these two as fast as possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, can you ask for anything more than this? This is everything. He has three losses. The 49ers clutched up and beat him. Meaning that this game, week 18 against the Ravens, determines if we get the first round by. Because he would now have four losses. If I win, I would only have three. Before, it could have been a tiebreaker. Because we have the same record, a win for me here could potentially take us from what was a bit of a messy season to the number one seed. It's incredibly important that we lock in on this game. We're a better team than we were the first time we played them. We got more superstars. We are just a better looking team on paper. Um, and I wouldn't even say it's remotely close. So this is where we gotta lock in though. Cause that one seed's everything in this league. The one seed is everything. You do not want to have to go through the wild card gauntlet um, to win a bowl. I like the idea of having a pass rate right to the divisional. Playing the worst team who makes it through. That's that's what I'm banking on. It's just like your odds of winning everything just skyrockets with the one seed. So either way, though, we got to win games. Either way, we can't be stopped. Either way, we got to clean a lot of things up because some things have just been a little bit messy. Um, of late, we got George Pickens mossing people, which is beautiful. Um, I love that about George Pickens. He's been a stud. But at the end of the day, we gotta get different people involved. We gotta get other things going. We gotta be smart. We gotta get Calvin Austin going. 
Like, these are all just different elements that are going to come in. This guy, the way he plays is annoying. I'll, I'll be the first to say it. I've told him it. To his face. I don't like, but it's, not that I don't like it. I don't like it because it's good. I don't actually, like, dislike him or his play style. It's just annoying to play against because it's, he's good at running the ball. But I think our line's going to do a good job with it. I feel confident, guys. 13-3. and three. This is for the one seed. This is for everything. Let's go. Okay, guys. This is everything, man. This is everything. This is everything. This is everything. This is everything, everywhere, all at once, man. Najee, be great. Run the ball. We got. We got to be able to run the ball effectively. I think. If, I think that's something we've missed the last few weeks. So it's crucial that we can find a way to do that more effectively than we have. Go, Calvin Austin. Run. Run, Calvin. Yep. You're one block away, Calvin. Whew. Stiff arm. He struggles against the that. I remember that from last year. The, the Dolphins franchise, I played this guy decent. I remember he does struggle against those. Hmm. Go. Good job, Pickens. Good catch, George Pickens. Come on. Cool. Let's be great, dude. This is the entire season right here. This is the entire season. Need a win. Yep. Yeah. Go. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm one away. Pat Fryermuth. Got him. Great body control. Good hands. Seven points, man. This is what you pay for. This is... Hey. One seed, bro. One seed on the line. Money on the line. Legacy on the line. Let's go. 7-0. Nope. Like I said, this, this D-line is prepared. I, I really, for your sake, I hope you have some dots. I hope you have some pass plays somewhere because I promise we're ready. It's big. That's big, dude. Guys, no. Oh, no, sir. Give me those. Give me those. TJ blocked with help from Highsmith. Okay, offense be smart, run the ball, be great. Be smart, run the ball, be great. We got this. Get seven before half. Put the pressure on him. We can get this one seed. 100% we can. Yep. Deontay. Deontay Johnson. That's the first down. Six for six, baby. Six for six. Yep. Good run. Even three here. I have to be smart with my decision making. This is... So crucial for this franchise. I have to be so diligent and smart with my decision making because he's going to start using timeouts. I don't want to give him a chance to potentially get seven and then go get those points back. That, that's kind of what I'm trying to explain. Like, I don't want him to have any hope in this game getting close again or, or taking the lead is pretty much my main concern. Fryermuth? Fryermuth, you're different. Oh my gosh. Horrible throw from Pickett. Absolute dumpster fire of a throw from Kenny Pickett. Wow. And Fryermuth gets it and turns it into a big game. Beautiful. Oh, he scores. Mm. Bagged. Bro, I just don't... How is that not a pick, though? That's what I'm wondering. How on earth is that not a pick? That's twice he's done that same throw, and that's driving me crazy. That that is somehow not an interception. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. Oh my gosh, you give him three chances? Come here. 
Come here, Lamar. You're going to be all right, bud. That's fourth down, though. Okay. One stop, baby. Come on. This If I get this and the ball here, I can be three scores. He would be in a horrible situation. Don't taunt or anything stupid. Just try and get into field goal range. Okay. Three points here. This is definitely GG. Three points here. Is, is, unless he's, is he quitting? He's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone. Ah, don't do anything stupid. I'm considering running that. That seems really scared, though. You can't really run here. That seems very scared. Okay. Even like, 10 yards here goes a huge way. Got him. George Pickens. Let's go, laser. Okay. Got a two clock. Like I said, I believe that if we win this game, that the one seed's ours. I believe if we win this game, the one seed's ours, which would be so freaking clutch after such an interesting season. And to just get the, like, potential. We might play in the playoffs, but the regular season last laugh against this guy after he was talking so much in the chat after I folded that last game would be huge. Okay, four's up, baby. Four's up. Two G's, man. Two G's. 21-0. Bye-bye. Okay, cross your fingers, guys, that we don't see a game right now. Guys, one seed me! Let's go, man! Clutch. 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 The Ravens have a bit of a layup. Honestly, we're going to probably see the Ravens again. The Ravens get the Titans, which is an absolute layup. We're going to see that dude again. I'm convinced we're going to see that dude again round two. But can we celebrate a one seed season without it being all about, hey, one seed. Great regular season. Great regular season. Kenny Pickett, 35 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Najee, 800. George Pickens, 1,400. This is actually a realistic stat line. Um, we'll go more into detail once I actually have my playoff opponent. But guys, great year. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bruh. Oh, you never want to see this team. But it is what it is. Um, you never want to see this squad, but when you're in the AFC, this is what you expect. We had this very similar thing in Dolphins franchise. You're going to be playing the Chiefs. I do want to do like a full year kind of like, um, I want to talk about everything, but at first I'm going, to, I'm going to do it kind of while we do our upgrades. We're three games away. That's the simplest way to look at these situations is you're, you're three games away from a bowl. Your three humans have to be better than you or else I could potentially win another Super Bowl and uh, we could be looking really, really, really freaking nice if we can pull that off. But that's not easy. That's not like... It's it's not gonna be easy, but you guys just gotta take it one play at a time. If you start thinking about that at the beginning, it can get really messy. I just wanna see what he's got. Like I said, the thing about this team is you can play press. You just gotta watch out for Travis Kelsey. I sneed it is there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, looking at this roster, we Pickens will will give the defensive backs a lot of trouble. Um, which is nice to know. I think that kind of goes without saying. I want to just continue this great season. I think Najee needs to have a bigger part of things, if I'm being honest. I don't know if I'm necessarily using Najee Harris to his full potential, and I think that's got to change. I almost want to put reach for it or something on him because off chance we're in the red zone. You know what? I might, I'm might. i going to put reach for it into the leapfrog because off chance I'm in the end zone. I want to be able to have that. Let's go look at the, this guy's stats. I know he's a good player. I've played him before, and he has the Chiefs. We gotta just when you're playing the Chiefs, you got you cannot let the game go and become just a shootout because you're probably gonna lose. You know you gotta play. That's ridiculous, dude. Threw forty touchdowns and two picks. Just double Kelsey. User Kelsey. Leave Kelsey open and then user him. Find out how he plays. Okay. Doesn't blitz his DBs. Guys, legacy man, Kenny Pickett, we made it this far. Let's go spend um, some of these points real quick. We made it this far, now it's time to finish the job. We got to figure out a way. You got to just toughen up and find a way to win these games. Because chances are, the three teams that I would be playing after this, if I win this, I'm probably playing against the Buffalo Bills. So games do not get any easier. Steel City, stand up. If you're a Steelers fan, stand up. I love you guys. 
Shut them up, sign the check, divisional. Let's go. Okay, if he's bunch offset, I don't mind going up against bunch offset because I know I can set the bunch offset's good because it has a lot of good runs. I know my guys are not just going to let him run the ball. That's that's the thing. I can promise you we are not gonna let anyone just come in here and just run the ball. So Make adjustments, dude. Playoffs are where you, you got to make your money in the playoffs. Ooh. It's good defense. Third and ten. Let's scream at him. Two plays in a row where I've played very much. Did he send his running back there? He did. Ah, oh, you can't do that. You got to. Oh, it's so hard to blitz Mahomes because his release is so quick. See what I mean? Though? That's like that's where he's he had a thousand yards this year, and I promise you, my D line is going to drive him crazy. Like I assure you that he is not happy to see those three D linemen there. Got him. This game sucks. What on earth is that, dude? Somebody. Somebody let me know. Oh my gosh. Somebody let me know what on earth that was. And then freaking Mahomes. Dude, should have been a pick six. Okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. He's on a wheel. He's on a wheel. Trust me. He's on a wheel. Uh, Okay, so against cover four, he's going to put him on a wheel. Is going to be what he does. He's going to put him on a wheel. I'm actually not going to blitz. I think he thinks I'm going to blitz here. I'm going to play coverage. I'm going to make him... I need him to show me that he can make good reads on third and two. I don't want to give him a free read again. Come here. Give me those! Go, Minka! Shades of... Freaking Madden 20, what was that? What was the year where I played, I, I played the Chiefs like every freaking year, game. What was that year? Somebody, oh, everybody let me know. Was that Madden 20? I was at the old house. It was a long time ago. That's exactly what that is. Dude, this, everything about this matchup reminds me of that. Okay. Najee, be great. Win us a game, man. Win us a game. Good job, Harris. Yeah, Pat Fryermuth. Look at the. That's precisely why I have to have him in there over Washington. As much as I love Washington, that has to be who's in there. It just does. Yeah, go. That's a beam. That's a laser beam. Don't play zone against us, please. That's George Pickens. Okay, one drive at a time. Now we focus on getting a stop. Now we focus on getting another stop. Caught him in a cover three. I'm throwing that immediately. Perfect animation from George Pickens. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 7 up. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. Okay, we got. I gotta mix in the blitz. I can't. I can't play scared. I can't play scared. Like I do need to blitz. Bika! Blitz every play, man. We blitz every play. Yep. There we go, Najee. Okay. Now we play smart. You guys gotta remember, we do get ball at half, so. We have to, like, I've lurked Mahomes twice. Like, there, I see something that I think could work. But I'm not going to do it because it's it has any type of risk. There's no point right now. There's no point in taking any type of risk. I could maybe throw that outside to Calvin Austin, but it's just not worth it in that spot. Oh, gosh. Okay. Pickett sets up play action. Ah, uh, are we in field goal range? Yeah, holy, I don't even know if I deserve that field goal. I played that super scared. Hey, you can't say no to points. He's there. 
Do I wish I would have done that drive a little bit different? 100%. But we're two scores up and we get ball at half. Defense is the best in the league. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, this guy had 40 touchdowns and two interceptions this year. And I've picked him off three times in the first half. You want to tell me that this defense is not terrifying? Oh my gosh, Kay. Need seven here. Oh, he's got a good... His run D is there, and his pass defense is pretty good. Come on, Pat Fryermuth. There it is. That's the catch to kind of get things going. See, now we can take this to the two-minute. And at minimum, we're going to take some timeouts for him. Because we get ball at half, minimum... Our game plan has been executed to perfection. Our defense is blitzing, getting stops. Everything's going exactly how it needs to go. Let's at least for sure take a couple of his timeouts here. Okay, make the read. Can you pick it? Make the read, bro. That's a flag on him. It's a flag on him. That's a dot. That should be. That should stand. Decline it. Decline it. Yeah. I think it was illegal contact in the middle. So as soon as I saw illegal contact, I was throwing it to my best player. My best player was open. 17-0, let's go. Man up, Kelsey. He's probably going to look Kelsey. I've literally taken upon myself to just use her Kelsey most of this game. But now I'm like, he's got to be sick of throwing picks. Hit him. Oh, guys. That's not bad defense. That's got to be. Scream at him. Scream at him. Scream at him. Dude, I almost lurked that again. I promise you it almost animated. It almost animated and then it felt bad for my opponent. I promise you that was lurked. Like, legit, that could have been an animation. TJ Watt. Okay, I've blitzed two plays in a row. He's got it. No. Flip. Flip. I've blitzed two plays in a row. Here is where we go into coverage because he's got it. I bet this play, he, if he's smart. Mika, how are you the best player in the league? Nobody is doing that. Wow. He's almost got a... If he doesn't get this, we're almost looking at GG's in the chat. Yeah, he's clearing that guy out. See how he's clearing that guy out? Shade outside. Straight outside, I just manned up. He's gonna press, and he's gonna make that read really tough. The purple should be able to get back there because he's trying to throw a corner route. It's Kelsey in a corner route. It's a box, fellas. It's just, it's, they, it, there's no other words. There's no other words to describe this. This is literally a guy who threw 40 touchdowns. I came in, I had a game plan. I got the defense to stop it. I don't even know what I want to do here. See, that's that's immature on my part. See what I I hate that I just did that. See what I mean? If he if he can figure some things out, it's not say this game. Nobody's saying this game's over. That's okay, he's only got he's got two timeouts left. Mahomes now on first down. See what I mean? You get complacent. You get complacent, you try and throw streaks to Calvin Austin, and you're looking at a ten point game. Like Okay, make a play, guys. We can we can run here, we can do a lot of things, we can go up to pickings, but we just cannot throw a pick and we cannot make this a two second drive. Oh, gosh. He's playing, like, right now he's playing exactly the defense I'd play if I'm in. When you're playing and you're in his situation, you play please test me defense. Like, that, shut him up. I dare you to throw it. He's trying to tempt me because he's like, hey, you see one-on-one -on, -one on George Pickens. You love George Pickens. Throw it. Every part of me wants to throw it. Look, he's even moving that safety down. He's saying, I got one-on-one -on, -one on Pickens. I know how badly you want to throw that ball. And I'm going to say, you know what? That's why. You just don't do it. Come on. Good job, Pickens. At some point, you just got to do it. And that's, that's not easy to do. That's not fun to do. But I had to, I had to throw that ball. You got to take risks. 
Right here, same thing. Back shoulder, George Pickens again. Sit him down. Go to your best player. Okay, now we run the ball. Guarantee three, get seven. I'm moderately considering going for this. I am. I don't really know why. I just think I might have Pickens. I'm moderately considering it. And that guy gets over there. It's vertical. So man him up, man him up. It's verticals. Man him up. And I'm going to uh, man him up. And then I'm going to play 17. It's got to be verticals. There's no way he's going to anything else here. It's a good read. Oh, I cannot leave points at the board, Brett. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. The Chiefs just start doing Chiefs like things. TJ Water, one of you. Can you can you please just end this game for me? Can we just TJ, one of you guys? Like thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm saying it, bro. I need one of you to go win this for me because I'm selling right now. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll check this one down at the to tackle. We gotta that's gotta be my responsibility. I can't I can't guard everything though. Seven play the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Do that. Do a little cross man action on that side. That might that might do something. Mahomes now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Motion left here, Johnson. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw. Stay in bounds, Fryermuth. It's important. With three minutes left, we stay in bounds. Off the play fake. Here's Pickett. Go. Complete downfield to Johnson. Well, I can't with this game, dude. I can't with this game. I'm too stressed. Dot though. Oh my gosh, and he's only got one timeout. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's alright. Time is time is not his friend right now, so every play he's just gotta take a lot of time and I'll be happy. Guys, I promise if we lose this game, Trice. I promise I'm going to rage cut you just for no reason at the end of this. I promise. Understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he was able to Okay, that's the two minute warning. He's only got one time. Left. If I'm him right now, I take three points. I get one more first down and I take three points if I'm him. Because all I'm going to do is just keep trying to get this game closer to being over. Mahomes now. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> what are these animations? Come here. I'm playing. I'm gonna play the bubble, bud. I'm gonna play the bubble as soon as that gets to 40 seconds. This might be. This might be chalk. I trust my D line to play everything else. That's okay. 48 seconds is fine. He's only got one time out. I can kill eight seconds. He's got to get an onside now. Dude, I don't know how. Allen Robinson, you just, however much money I'm paying you, dude, you just earned it because that easily could have went horribly. All I got to do is run backwards for seven seconds and this is. And we're going to the AFC Championship. Dude, this is bananas. Don't go out of bounds. Just run for like three seconds, Najee. Just run. GG's, man. He needed the onside. Travis Kelsey sold the dude. Guys, I learned something from this game. Don't get cocky. If there's one thing I learned from this that'll carry me through the entirety of this Madden 24, don't get cocky, bro. Literally, I'm up. I'm up big with ball, up 17-0 with ball, and I almost just lost. It came down to an onside kick. Okay.
We're going to the AFC chip. I'm guessing the Bills. It's going to be Bills or Ravens. Ravens I'm ready for. Bills is Josh Allen. I, I look shook right now because I'm shook. I look shook because I'm shook, dude. Holy moly, that game took a lot out of me. Yeah, it's the Bills. Okay, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. If you want to keep your house, you got to play the Bills, man. You got to play the Bills. Play the Bills. That's kind of funny. Oh my gosh, this is not the, like, this is the gauntlet. If you can, if your defense can get you through Buffalo and the Can and Kansas City, you deserve a chance at the bowl. You really freaking do. Highsmith is going to get pass committed right now, which I don't even really use. But he's about to get some better abilities because right now I don't have great abilities on him. I'm going to go edge threat and I'm going to go double or nothing. Maybe under pressure actually. What I always do for this is I go to like someone who I think, I'll, I'll do it after, but I go to someone who I think is probably one of the smarter people in the league, and then I'll look at what they do, because then I know, okay, this is what, plus one speed for Najee, let's go. Because I am not good with abilities right now. Um, so in order to figure this out, like Deli, who I'm about to play, he's got Vaughn Miller. Whatever he has with Vaughn Miller is probably the best abilities that you can get, because he sometimes, he seems to stay up on that stuff a little better than me. So, like, you go to the smartest guy in the room, and edge threat, pass commit, no outsiders, and inside stuff, yeah. Same same kind of idea. Let's go to another guy who I think is somewhat smart. The commander's dude. Um, this is someone who I think is pretty good at the game. What does he have? Uh, I don't think he's... That's not the most impressive. Vikings. T-Sap. T-Sap Daniil Hunter. Speed rush. What does he got? Double or nothing, edge threat, inside stuff. Yeah, okay. We're, we're on the right track with the abilities that we have. Um, and I don't think there's been any part of me that's like, oh, I feel like I'm cheated or things aren't going. Like, no, dude. I feel like this defense is on fire. Under pressure, edge threat, and inside stuff. I'm going to go double or nothing instead of under pressure because I've clearly double or nothing is legit. Guys, you got to pay the bills. Um, Josh Allen, James Cook, Diggs, Gabe Davis. To me, you bump and run. You just have a man on him every play. That's one, like, number one way to stop the Bills. Defensively, they're tough. That's the problem. They got a superstar DB. They got two superstar safeties. Like, we got to be able to put up points. We got to run the ball. We got to keep them on us. Because this is the best team in the game, I think. If one of the best teams in the entire game. I'm excited for my franchise with them. Um, but, hey, at the end of the day, bro, put up or shut up. Sign the check. Be great. Can he pick it one game away? Let's go. And I think both guys love it if you're a quarterback. It's an easy completion. If Got him. George Pickens. I see you, Pickens. People at some point got to start putting some respect on that dude's name. Like, that's that's not just any player. That's George Pickens. Back to throw. Pick it. Yep. Pat Fryer move. Good opener. Good opener so far. A lot of good reads going on right now. Good job, Najee! Good job, Najee. Another good run. Oh, he's got two for 15 right now. Dude! Oh. Kenny, you're unreal, man, but that's got to be a made throw. Oh, I love Kenny Pickett, but that's like, I'm taking those risks for a reason because I know my red zone is pretty meh at times. So it's like, I'm not just throwing that for no reason. Like, I'm, I need that to be a made a cob ball. Come on, fight. Kenny Pickett. Touchdown. Kenny, you gave me a heart attack, bro. Kenny, you gave me a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Beg, 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 beg. Field. And he's got some space here. A big 
He should be blocking people here. Oh, Trice sucks, man. Too much time. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting there it is. Maybe not many people Five at a time. I'm not. I'm not mad. See, I'm on conservative. I can't run that run in the red zone again because Pickett fumbled, and that was that was me on conservative. So it's like. I don't think, like I said, I don't think he can guard the wheel in that. Don't know if he can. I, I don't know if that was a leg warp because I've heard that if you're lagging, they warp. I don't think, I think that guy warped close. I don't know what happened. It's 14-7. Don't know. Don't at me. Got him. <laughs> oh, good adjustment. Good play. That's just freaking digs being digs. He's short. I know he's short. That's what I'm saying, dude! You can't run on me. You can't run on me. Steel City, baby. Ah. At least make, make him go out and score. I feel like our defense is kind of cagey right now. Make him go out and score on you. Oh, that's okay. Three is... Three is expected. I just don't want to. I don't want to let him get a big play here. Guard digs. Guard digs. Guard digs. Guard digs. Guard. Guard that cross. Everybody, stay on everybody. Oh my gosh! I'm holding the button, bro. Nope. Oh, he did get it. Let's the whole team right here. That's fine. Because now he gets three. He's got a 41. He's got a long field goal. I don't know if I can ice this, but it's, it's worth the attempt. There, I just did not want to let him get seven. I didn't want to have there, there be a chance that this game was tied. Best case scenario, I stop him. Worst case scenario, he got it. My gosh. Okay. Good half. Good half. Good half. Second half, if they want to earn that birth to the Super Bowl, and I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches are. Oh my gosh, and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we that's a grossly good read. Like, that's unbelievable. That's that's the Josh Allen effect. You're seeing right there the Josh Allen effect. Okay, get a stop, Brett. Get a stop. He looks comfortable in this. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. I love that defense. I love that defense. And that should have been a that should have been a pick. I promise that should have been a pick. Press digs on the line. Got him. Porter Jr. man. Okay. Smart. Smart. Run the ball if need be. Juke. Take time. Go to the Super Bowl with Kenny Pickett. That's the steps. That's how that's how you do it. Oh, Problem is the Bills got ridiculously good defense. That's not a there's no flag on that. I hope you guys rewatch that. How on earth is that not a flag? He's pressing Pickens weird again. Back shoulder fade. It's what I do, man. That's what I do. Such a good catch. Such a good catch by Deontay. 
Throwing on third down. And the Bills are going to... Oh, that just came in way too quick. Okay, defense, I need you to take us home here, guys. Take us home, defense. And he'll get this away Ooh, this could be a grossly here. good punt. I'm surprised he caught that. I'm, I probably wouldn't have caught that one, but okay. Good punt. Not what I, I was not expecting a smash route from him. Good defense. Good job, Hayward. Third and three. He kind of needs seven. Three, I don't see him just taking three. Got him. Don't taunt, just get in field goal range. Don't taunt, just get in field goal range. Don't taunt, just get in field goal range. GG's. Don't taunt. I'm a better, bigger, smarter, better person than that in that situation. Guys, we're going to the Super Bowl, man. What did we do? We did. We played old school Steelers football from the beginning of this season to the end. We got Highsmith breakouts, Porter Jr. breakouts. We became the team that nobody could run on. We became the team that no one could mess with. And that's how we won. We, we, we boxed up the Chiefs. We boxed up the Bills. And now we got one more team, man. One more team. And it's GG's in the chat. He's gonna run commit. Should have a Calvin Austin, honestly. Oh, no. Take three. Take three. Make it so he needs 77. That I, I should have at least taken a timeout there from him. <sighs> Here's what it is. Our clutch time game is not very good. That's a... That's a read, but now, like I said, at least he needs to get seven. So we can just play back, keep everything in front of us. Good hit, 27. Good hit, fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, to go to the Super Bowl, fellas. To go to the Super Bowl. And he, just the dot of the century. Oh my gosh. Okay, as soon as he gives a timeout, he needs an onside. But the problem is onsides are kind of glitched. So that's what I hate about this. Onsides are kind of glitched. Oh, my gosh. Give me those. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. Super Bowl, Steelers fans. I got you. Don't worry, Steelers. You're you're the you're the franchise of the channel. You are one of, if not the best franchises all time. I owe these Steelers fans. I'm gonna do my best. I can't promise I'm gonna win. I can promise you I'm gonna do my best to take down whoever we're playing on the other side. Beam. GG's, fellas. GG's, man. Guys. I don't know who we're playing. I don't know what dev up upgrades we're going to get. All I know is I like my chips with the dip. And we're going to the Super Bowl, Steelers. We just took down the Bills and the Chiefs. Back-to-back -back games. See you guys in the bowl. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going up against Packers. This guy missed a bunch of weeks. Um, so his record, he barely made the playoffs. But this is one of the best players in the league. This guy's no joke. Super Bowl, Packers, Steelers. This kind of feels like, I don't know, it feels like a Super Bowl we could see in the next two years. Go back to this video if you remember this. If this happens in the next couple of years, I wouldn't be shocked. It feels like something we could see. We got upgrades like crazy. Um, Pickens is going to get a deep threat. He obviously needs to, he's got to lead us, man. He's got to win one-on-ones. He's got to go up and get it. We, we need those players. Pickens got upgraded to X Factor. Oh my gosh. We need, we need him to just be unbelievable. It's kind of essentially what I'm trying to say to you guys. Um, plus three power moves. I've considered one thing with Minka. Putting him at safety and putting him on, um, I think he gets man coverage abilities, doesn't he? 
That's what I'm wondering. Does he get now? He gets deep zone deflator. Um, this is where I don't really know what to put on him. Deep end zone KO maybe. We'll go secure tackle. That, that, that's a good ability. Deontay's going to get an upgrade. Um, he's going to go up to an 88 overall. Guys, it's going to be one of those games. We're going to go check out his roster. We get plus one speed with him. Um, the, what this team that we're going up against does so incredibly well. I think my wife's calling me right now. Oh. Nope. Blue Jays just lost. So in case you didn't, I was literally just watching the Blue Jays. Um, man, oh man, the Blue Jays are killing me. Uh, but... This guy does pretty well, I would say, when I've played him in the past. He's, he's a good passer. He, he knows what he's doing. He, but I, he is stoppable, and his defense is pretty solid, too. I would say he does multiple things like pretty good this particular one. He beat TSAP. Um, he's given a lot of guys a lot of trouble. So it's, it's definitely not going to be a layup, and I don't want anyone to think it's going to be a layup. But it's the type of game that we just got to win. Um, there's really no other way to look at it. It's just... How do we go in here and win? You run the ball, you don't make the first mistake, and you do everything you everything right. And you don't you don't lose the game. That's how to win this in this game is you win in Madden by not losing in Madden. And that might sound like the dumbest advice, but you'll never get better advice than what I just gave you. You win in Madden by not losing. Guys, Super Bowl Steelers, let's go. Oh, okay. Be great. Send eight. Make plays, don't overthink, win the Super Bowl. That's your three steps. That's your three steps, baby. Just make plays all game. Very similar uniforms. Oh my gosh, you don't realize how similar these are. Like our pants are the exact same. Oh, I didn't love that return. Why return that, Brett, you meathead? Fryermuth. Good catch, Pat. Good catch, Pat. Fryermuth. A little bit. Okay, take three, get the defense out here. Take three, get the defense out of there. I like that read. It's a good throw. Okay, he's making reads right now. We we gotta be making reads when we get out here. Come here! Let's go, defense! Should have been a pick six. Should have been a pick six, but it is what it is. Should have been a pick six, but it is what it is.
Najee Harris. He's to the 20. Get off me. Najee, man! Come on! The dice didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got his last time. To the air again, love. Got him. Roy tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. Be smart here, Brett. Be smart here, Mo. Get lurked, kid. Dot. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Cheat me, dude. It's a good play. That's a good play. That's a good play. 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. It's Najee Harris now on back to line. Looking to throw, pick it. Eluding the pressure right. And incomplete. Okay, take three. Oh my gosh. I think I got it. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. We had held him to zero points. We had held him to zero points. It was a freaking D line pick six, which got us into all that trouble. Oh gosh. Okay. Jordan Love, ready on first down here. That's a crazy throw from Love. That's a crazy throw from Love. Read option. Good play call. Good play call. Okay. Guys, we got to earn it, bro. We got to earn it. No one's going to hand it to us. We got to earn it. Good job, Pickett. Pickett to throw on first down. Good read, Brett. He'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Oh, gosh. Pickett, he's going to throw it again. Oh, my gosh. Now, Pickett on fourth down. Hey, we need to stop defense. First down going to the air with love. He's got the hook up with Dobbs. It's a good read. It's a good read. Oh guys. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That swung out wide to Harris. To the air on first down, we pick it. And he slides and covers up at the 46. Pick it back to throw. It gets a complete to oh, good play. Pick it, throw it again on second down. A short one there to fire you. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 21. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Pick it now on first down. It's brought in by Harris. Love now to pass on first down. Oh my gosh, he's holding on to that. That's complete to Dobbs. That'll put him. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they'll get him down. Now Love. A short throw. Oh, Brett, man. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh 
He's back to throw. On the throw. Here's Pickett. Flag. Flag. Accept. Looking to throw here. Pick it. Now pick it. He's got his tight end fired to his right side. Now the Steelers are going to use their third. One of these times, I got to take a shot, dude. Pick it back to throw. Spike. Spike. Mm. If I got one on one, I feel like I gotta go up to Pickens, dude. GG's. Oh, good game, guys. Cannot ask for a better game than that. I can't be too salty. <sighs> he played good defense in the second half. He played good defense in the second half. I got ugh, that one. I like to, if, if it's not for that tip pass interception, I think that game's a lot different. If, if it's not for that tip pass interception, we potentially go up 17 0. Great year with the Steelers, bro. Great freaking run. Honestly, great run. Great run. 10 out of 10. <sighs> we did our thing. I'm disappointed, obviously. I'm quite disappointed in the ending because I feel like <sighs> definitely could have done more, but at the end of the day, dude, we just didn't have it. Didn't have the plays. We had a good money drive. This this was the play that lost the game, bro. That interception, like this this interception was crazy. Look at this lurk. Look at this lurk. I was waiting for him to throw that comeback. That was a crazy lurk. Oh, I had one of the best runs I've ever seen in that game. There'll be a lot of good memories from this franchise, and I'm super sorry I didn't win. Like, I'm very sorry I did not win, but I did my best, Steelers fans. Four half, those tip pass interceptions, they'll kill you. They really, really, really will. Got three stops in a row. Guys, GG's. Comment down below what your team next should be. If you enjoyed the season, kill the like button. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post golf every day. Make me the happiest person in the world by go subscribe. Check out that channel. There's a link down below. My Instagram is tdbarrettyt. My Twitter is tdbarrettyt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button. Um, go watch another video here. And like I said, go subscribe to my second channel.